episode 50. 5 I just chastised the fuck out of our guest. You, <laughs> fucked yeah. up. Yeah. you can fucking decline that or answer that if you want. Yeah. Episode 50. We I'm got a, a very podcast. special guest, a childhood friend, an inmate. A lover, a lover of women and, f- and their feet, a man oh. of many fetishes. <laughs> in the feet? Oh, dude, he's into everything. All right, we'll get into that. Bird is into fucking everything, dude. So this, this is my is, friend uh... Phil Lynch. He's on the podcast to tell people what it's like to be a white person in jail. Absolutely. Hello, so, Matt. Hello, Shane. Right? What's going on? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is good for me too because I've heard I've heard a fucking ton about you. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm really also heard a lot I have, about I have you a too. ton of questions about oh, jail. Fire. Yeah. So how do you ready. get there? How do no, you get uh, to jail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's <laughs> so let's start from the very top. Yeah. Let's start with how you got and well, how long have you been in pr- jail? The longest incarceration that yeah. I did straight was 18 months. 18 months. Months. Yeah. How no, about, sorry. No, no, let me crack that. I did uh, three months and then 15 straight. Now, I was, did three months, was out for not even 28 days. I, did, I took a, a deal. Well, I, my charge was I got uh, set up selling narcotics. Uh, now, somebody set me up. Uh, I agreed to do the same thing, but I never did. And I had these state police officers calling me about once a month. And I always say... I'll get the ball rolling. I got something working. Don't worry, guys. Well, didn't didn't you uh, when you were supposed to work for the cops? Didn't you try to bring like a knife on you or something? Yeah, yeah. And the guy that got pissed. Yeah, he got real pissed on me. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. They might be upset about that. The one guy they were too happy about that. Yeah, I remember he had a gun, and you were like, "Well, I got my knife." And they're like, yeah, Put that you away. Can't have a knife on you, bro. <laughs> That's yeah, sick. That, you rolled up strap, dude. I rolled up strap. Uh, now they kept wanting me, you know, to to throw my sentence out. You know, to, yeah. You so know, you basically they were like, up. "Come set him up, and we'll let you out." And you just didn't do that, and basically just, ran I away. Just, they kept, yeah. Every you month, went on the lamb, dude. They would, well, they would text me once a month. I'd be like, "I got something that works. Don't worry." Just kept blowing them off, you were, blowing you them were off. Their CI, basically. Yeah, it was their CI, but yeah. they got nothing out of me. They got. Uh, now I went to Florida. I got myself some help. Went down to a rehab down in Florida, and he texted me. This is about like six months after that I caught the case, and he was like, "Yo, what's going on?" I was like, "Listen, leave me alone, man. I'm in Florida getting better." Yeah. Since I said I was in Florida getting better, I didn't tell him why I was getting better. Right away, I must have charged my ass up. Because I got a thing in the mail from a lawyer saying, you know, you got this charge, you need to represent yourself. I just threw everything to the side. Yeah. yeah. Fuck it, man. Now, uh, I was working with my one uncle, and I was, uh, I found, this is, I found a ring on the floor. I was vacuuming up this floor. I vacuumed up a ring. I went to throw it out, saw the ring, and said, get it back and put it in my pocket. Uh, I knew I should have known better. It was probably some person in the house ring. Now, yeah. when my uncle came to me like two days later. You know, I said, Yes, I had the ring. And the lady said, If you give it back to her, they're not going to press charges. All right, so they uh, I go to the jail, get back. I go to district court in Philadelphia, not the district place. I give the ring back. The lady ends up putting charges on my ass. Yeah. Now, I went to the cops saying, like, Do you have any uh, criminal past? I said, No, I do not. And, you know, I have. DUI of dumb shit. Uh, you know, simple assault. <laughs> like they don't shit. have a big computer. Yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. This, is how, this is how green I am. I'm thinking that yeah, I, I mean, can get away with everything, that right? Sense. No, they, like, they yeah, fingerprint me out. and run my thing, and I had this outstanding warrant. Yeah. You know, for, for this attempt to deliver charge. And then I go from the district, they stayed each, the Philadelphia police drove me to, they met me halfway on 95, right before you get to Delaware County, Philadelphia. So they set you up basically and brought you in. They, well, yeah, well, after they charged me, they bought me the, the yeah. uh, county prison. But I went to the state barracks on media. No, the state barracks yeah, on Route right? I saw this judge. It was like 7 o'clock at night, 8 o'clock at night. You know, I got booked on a Thursday. You know, they found out, ran my fingers, found out I had this outstanding warrant. You know, so they took me back to Delaware County. That's where I was wanted. And they, I saw the judge at 7 o'clock, man. And he was like, he was so pissed off. Woke him up. You know, they had to, you know, set bail for Wait, me. Wait, so judges Everyone are on call like that? Yeah, when they had to set bail for somebody. So I had to get bail set to yeah, me. Yeah. What are they doing? Motherf- they do it over like Skype or like over TV. Yeah, it was right? TV. It was like yeah, video yeah, yeah. court. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not like they're mother- in there. Okay, they, this yeah, motherfucker yeah, said just... I'm a flight risk and hit me with a quarter million bail. Damn, was you were going to Florida? Is that why? Or? No, no. Just He just said, I must be in my report saying I want to Florida on him, which I. I went to Florida to help myself. Yeah. And I would just told the guy, leave me alone right now. You know, yeah, I'm just yeah. bullshitting these guys. Sense, and I'm yeah. not going to help these assholes yeah. out, dude. So he sent you at a quarter million bell. So he sent me a quarter million bell. So I go to George Hill, which is Delaware County Prison for my first time. And 
So does having I'm not like a, getting bailed out. Does having a high bail put you in like a worse? I, I got two. It's called four four block. You got four and seven state state block. Four. It's all violent criminals. For every high bail, everyone's either going upstate, yeah. or pretty much everyone's either going upstate so what, or they going out. What was like the when you walked in there? What was the vision when you like? I was do well first. What did you, you see go, when you when they first, dumped you in there? When you get in, in George Hill, you're into the intake place, like yeah. the pre intake place. You know, you're in your street clothes. And they strip you out of street clothes, you know, they search you, you know, squat, cough, lift your balls, all that bullshit. And they give you your county blues, second pair, and they give you your sheets and your blankets and uh-huh. stuff. Then I go to an intake block. This is when everyone's together. You're going to find out what block you're going to go to. You're going to get classified. They classify, like I said, on your, on your past, on your, you know, violent, high bail. And I'm... I'm th- I'm trying to get bailed out. I'm like, Dad, please bail me out for a quarter so of dollars. For two hundred fifty thousand dollars, you'd have to put it's up twenty five grand. Twenty five thousand. He said, Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah. No, he now, could like he could like put his house up, for, like mortgage his house. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he do could have done some yeah. things, which, in a way, wish I, I'll get into the story a little bit more. But um, I'm, I'm like, I'm green to the system. Like, I feel like I could be a jailhouse lawyer now. How much I learned about the law in yeah, jail, yeah. which I learned a lot. Learn about you know bails, how easy to how these guys beat these cases hey, all the time. Can it's I crazy. Uh, can I stop you for a second? Yeah. So this is you were arrested and then got out and then went to Florida and then now you're back in jail. No, I'm back in jail. But okay. when I got arrested right. the first time, I didn't go to jail. Yeah, yeah you were yeah, supposed yeah. to cooperate. I agreed to cooperate. <clears throat> and then you didn't cooperate. I didn't cooperate. Went to Florida. Went to Florida for yeah, yeah, the yeah. rehab, better myself. And then, yeah, yeah, it's not like you were running away. Um, and then you went back to Philly. Now you're back in county prison? I'm in county prison now. In Chester County Prison? No, Delaware County. Delaware George County. Hill. Which, George Chester Hill. County's got to be worse than Delaware County Prison, no, right? Chester County is like Westchester area. It's All actually right. really nice. I, I did yeah, a 72 nice. hours there. I went to Westchester University. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I went. I did my first ever bit. I did besides the one night, one nighters. Me, you, Pat, Bob, all pie got in Westchester yeah. you know, for dumb stuff. I was my 72 hours. I did on a DUI charge. Yeah, that uh, was in Chester County. So you were Chester in Del- County. Delaware. This Chester was, is in Delaware County. Okay. But Westchester is in Chester. Yeah, this, oh, is okay. West, this is so Chester that's County. Okay. So um, then, so you're in there and you roll in. Who, who's, who's like, who are you in there with? Like, like I said, I got through intake. And I'm like, and then you get free phone calls and stuff. Call yeah. me, like, please bail me out. He no way in hell. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm thinking I'm gonna be out in like two weeks or a yeah. week or. Th- I'm no, sorry. I'm thinking I'm gonna be out in a couple of days. Yeah, I can't do this stuff. Yeah. Then I, I get my blues and I go to the intake block where you're gonna get classified to find out it's where everyone's at. You just get in. Everyone's hearing all this talk. Now I kept hearing guys say, "Listen, if I go to four block, I'm going to." I'm not going to go. I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go to the hole. Yeah. I don't want to go. I heard like two people say this, right? And everyone's saying, oh, probably going to get the DUI building. It's your first time here. That's what I thought you were going to get. That's why I thought guys talking, you yeah. know, because I was in the intake for three weeks, which is very long. Now, when, now, when you're in intake and you're talking to all these guys, are they all pretty, are they kind of cordial? Like, are they like, because well, you, you it you sounds like guys people. are like, don't go to fucking four block. Sounds like you're going to go to DUI. Like, it should be all right. Like is there, are there people like I met was I met anyone this, aggressive towards you right away? No, nah, actually no. Nah. Um, yeah, it's, it's how you it's how you how you carry yourself. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. there's guys that are just a word a prison word. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this called out of pocket. Yeah, I know yeah, out, of pocket, out of pocket is I, yeah. Everyone says that in prison, but uh, if guys are out of pocket, you know, just you know. Dumb stuff, you know, trying to take steal people's trays. Like which right is, off the bat? Right off the bat. <laughs> now, now, That's a bullshit. You're, you're, you're is that what the, a trace layer is? Well, yeah, when you're on intake, it's, <laughs> it's 20, 22 and 1. It means you're locked down 22 hours. You're yeah. out 8 o'clock in the morning and 7 o'clock for an hour, at night for an hour. That's to take showers, just to be in the day room. The day room is a real small room. They got all the cells around on the, on the top and the bottom. Uh-huh. There's about... 14 cells on the bottom, 14 on the top, and there's two showers, one on the bottom, one on the top. Now, there's about five shower heads. Now, this is a funny story. The first time I went, now, you go in the shower room, there's, like I said, there's five, st- there's five showers. Yeah. You're right? You have, you walk in, there's like a cage. Now, I didn't see nobody do this. What you're supposed to do is bring your blanket, hang it up on the cage, and no one can peek in on you, and you take a shower peacefully. Yeah. So, my first time, I go in, don't put the thing up, I go when somebody's already showering at the end, 
going butt ass naked, and I sh- and this is unheard of. But you're supposed to not you're supposed to not shower one at like a time. Dude. No, it's supposed, no, just one dude. I'm in there with, <laughs> with another dude showering, so, thinking yeah. it's normal, and it's not. And I'm not covered up, so everyone can see my ding dang. You know, yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that a prison term? <laughs> <laughs> That's my nervousness. I, I could come up. <laughs> so guys, don't take. Uh, group showers. Well, county. Well, I'll get in more into that when we hit state. But in the county, so you you rolled up on someone. I rolled up on someone. Well, that, man, that actually makes sense because <laughs> yeah, if you're in county prison for like a DUI, yeah, like that's like where green. that's where uncles go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not trying to shower together. Nah. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I, fig- I figured like men in the gym though they get naked all the time. That is true. Is so you gym. hold it down like a, a six-year-old man, man in LA fitness? Men at the yeah. gym, there's literally no threat of rape. Exactly. <laughs> this yeah. seems it's it's I think minimal. your rape senses are up. Probably Remember what we're talking 100%. about. Exactly. You know? What did this guy do when you entered the shower? No, give me him? weird looks. No, he's actually about my... <laughs> <laughs> what did he part his bed sheet? And look at you? Well, no, like I said, you walk into the door. It's like yeah. a cage. Right? Yeah, you yeah, walk yeah. in and there's four, four shower heads. All right, he was at the one at the end, yeah. and I was at the middle. So there's one shot in between us. <laughs> yeah, there's no towel on. Now he might have been his first time too, but I was wondering. He was like, "Why would you walk in with you know? Why you?" He didn't put the the towel up or yeah, the yeah. blanket up, but still, he was like, "Why are you in?" Like in his mind, he's like, he's "Why looking- is this white boy in here with me?" It was a black dude, <laughs> you know. <laughs> And you know, because makes it worse. And I walk <laughs> I when, I, when I walk out. It's so when someone grabbed me and told me, you know, you're not supposed to do that, right? Like, yeah. Do what? What are you talking about? You're not supposed to go there with somebody, and you're not supposed to put someone, you know, broken yeah, down yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah. I look back at it now, man. I just can't believe it, man. And you, you went know? in there, and did that? I went in there, and like you know, guys do it. Like I said, it's my first time doing a long bit like that. So you ended up, but you like you're saying, you're in the intake, and you ended up going to Four Block, the place well, everyone didn't want to go. Like I said, three weeks. And like I said, I heard so two people you saying a couple weird showers. If they send me to four block, I'm I'm going to lay on the floor and tell them to send me the hole. Now that's I'm solitary thinking, confinement, I'm, right? That's the whole solitary confinement, twenty three and one. Now, when I'm thinking I'm going to DUI because this is my first time, yeah. and everyone's telling me I'm not really telling the whole truth about my, you know, I just well, focus on drugs, stuff, stuff. They yeah. tell me I had twenty five thousand dollar bell, quarter million bell, <laughs> you know. So I get classified my third week. They call out the guy I was. You know, they call a term is bidding. You know, it's like us hanging out on the streets in jail. Yeah. They call me and you hanging out in jail. We're bidding. It's a bid. It's yeah. like, you know, you're doing a bid. Yeah. And when you're bidding is when you're bidding, you know, yeah, yeah, hanging yeah. out, bullshit and all that stuff. Yeah. So the dude I was bidding with, you know, he told me something, you know, told me a few things what I should be looking into. Uh, he got called. He came. The reason me and him got close because we came in together at the same time. So usually when you knew with somebody, and he's all right. You yeah, kinda, yeah. You know, you eat, you eat with him and stuff. Now, uh, twenty, like I said, twenty-two and one. They bring your your trays. Sorry, they bring the trays on the block, and one person in your cell has to go bring them back to you. And everyone's telling me, "Oh, this population is so much better." I was like, "How this is this period sucks?" Oh, so that's like, the hole you're saying when they bring. This, no, this is this is just intake. Okay. Intake's twenty-two. Hours you're yeah. locked in and two hours out. Why are nice. you waiting to get classified to go and to? How long do you typically stay in intake? Usually, I heard people say one week. Okay, I was there for three weeks. Okay, two different times actually. Damn. And uh, then I get classified and I find out I'm going to four block, which I'm hearing all this bad stuff. Yeah. And I wanted to be like, oh, there's a mistake. Like I wanted to yeah, grab yeah, the guard yeah. when he's walking me. I'm not supposed to go here, you know, because I seen the guy that came in with. He went to the DUI. He went to the DUI building. And then they call me out the next day, and I just couldn't believe it. And they're walking down the jail, and then there's a bunch of white guys in my group with me, and they all go to, I think, five or six, which yeah. is real low key, you know, not major. Yeah, it's white guy. It's white guy jail. Guys, <laughs> white guy jail, right? So speak, speak a little more. Tonight. And then I just, and I walk, they all go in, and that's when I wanted to say something. So you like, black guy you got to think of a mistake. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, like I go to four block, it's, I go to four C. Now you walk in, there's four pods, you know, four A, four B, four C, four D. Yeah. Usually the old heads go to D, for how they usually do it, yeah. and the young bucks go to A. Yeah. And in between ages, you know, I was 28, 29 at the time. And then, uh, yeah, I walk on the four block, man. And it was during uh, rec time, during yard, but it's not really yard in county, it's rec time. Yeah. You know, you get rec two hours in the morning from 8.30 to 10.30. You know, you have breakfast at 6.30. In the morning. In the morning. And then you go out for breakfast and you come back in. Now, in the county, they bring the trays onto the block. You know, and you just walk up, grab a tray and sit at the seat. Yeah. You eat. Yeah. And then you go to 8.30 to 10.30 is your first wreck. And sometimes, 
in the county, like I said, it was four pods. You know, yeah. you four A, B, C, D. Now, D and C and A and B share a little yard. It's a really small courtyard. They got a half-court basketball court, and it's like a triangle. Yeah, yeah. And it's really small, and it's, we barely get it. You know, you barely get that. So I'm excited. I'm used to doing 22 and 1. I come in to the block first time. It was that nighttime. Now, I said you go 8.30 to 10.30 and then lunch, and then 1.30 to 3.30. Yeah. And then night and then dinner, and then night is from 7.30 to 10.45. Okay. It's a lot longer. Yeah, it's, yeah. So I get there. It's when they're having that night one. And everyone's out running around like a nun. I just, you know, my balls are in my stomach, man. I was just like, <laughs> oh, Jesus God. Christ, right? What, what's the ratio, racially, like when you're in oh, there? Oh, when I was in there, well. And for when you walked in there, how many white guys is it? Oh, man, on my like, block, I think it was six white guys. How many people were in there total, would you say? Uh, you got 14 times two, so 20 is about 60 people in the block. Okay, and it's, it's on the block. 10%? Yeah, 10 is really low, okay. really low. So you go in there and Now they get in there, right? I get told what sound I'm going to. Yeah. And I walk to the, to the end, I think it was... 11, 11 or 10, right in the corner. Now, I can't open the cell. Yeah. No, everything's open, but the way my cell, he had it set up, you had to put a lot of weight into it. So I'm sitting there like this. You know, whole, everyone's looking around. <laughs> this is just blowing my That's mind. Tough start. Everything's blowing my mind, right? And I'm looking like an asshole trying to get in. I can't get yeah. in. And I'm sitting there like just like an asshole, man. Yeah. And then finally, like five, ten minutes goes by. i never forget this kid, Mike DeVito, came by and showed me how to get in, you know. And then... uh I got in, and thank God, my celly, which is, this is a, a gem in county jail for him to have a TV. The uh, TVs are 225, and they're satellite. You have to get, you know, the pain in the ass is set up, pain in the ass is the finding channels. It's the dish. You get, not the dish, sorry, antenna. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah. antenna. Same thing. You get, like, six channels. Yeah. It's horrible. You get, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this TV was the best one. This TV is a movie channel. That's cool. So I get in, and now my, my celly's not in yet. Now, like I said, it's probably 8 o'clock at this time. We've still got two and a half hours left of rec time. My ass stays in the cell the rest of the night. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going yeah, out. Yeah, you don't no, want to play. I'm just like, I don't know, it's nervous, anxiety, everything. Were they everything. playing Foursquare? What were they doing? <laughs> They're playing, right? <laughs> They're playing Spades. Badminton. Spades and Pinochle are the two okay. biggest car games. I'm playing, are they playing basketball and shit? No, no. The yard's not open at night. Okay. For In the county. Yeah. So you didn't want to go jump in on any Spades games? No, I didn't know how to play Spades at the time. <laughs> I didn't learn Spades till, uh, till State, until I went upstate. So how, how was it when the guy came and you met him? Was he cool? Cool man, black dude, uh, Arnold Colbert. Uh, oh, he's dude. We don't, old, you know, old, we don't have to whisper guy. black dude anymore. We stopped doing that in like 2015. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't mean to put his name out like that. Yeah. But uh, he had a TV. It was cool, yeah, man. You can, you can not say names. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. He did Stick the, to first names. He did a State bid. He did five years before. And I, uh, you know, so he's, I told him my first time, he showed me a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so how'd you get out of there? That all ended then? I stayed there for three months, my first bid. Uh, it Did started you see out real, crazy real while rough. Hey, let's, let's, uh, let's go over the summary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we'll go back to crazy stuff. You don't have to pause or anything. No, I didn't pause it. Oh, okay. It. Um, so your first night, you meet the guy, everything's good. He's got watch the movie the channel. He's got the movie channel. channel. TV. You're chilling. What kind of movies Bonnie you and Clyde we watch first. Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde. Clyde. You guys watch Bonnie and Clyde? Sorry, no. Uh, the one with the two girls that drive the truck. Uh, uh, you watched. I just saw on TV the other day with uh, um, Susan Saran. Broad City. No, <laughs> <laughs> Susan Saran, you know, uh, the two movies. girls that. Thelma and Louise. Thelma and Louise. Oh, yeah, nice. man. That was great. Nice. Saw Thelma and Louise. Were you, did you look at him and you're like, this is us? <laughs> <laughs> On your first night, you're like, this could be us, man. Oh, we this talked so all awesome. night. Nice. I was just like, I felt so comfortable. You know, I just Good. like, it was a lot of stress off me, even though I had a lot more to yeah, look yeah, forward yeah. you know, yeah. not to look forward to, not knowing what's going on with my case and all this stuff. Yeah, so. Yeah. You know, we talked. I talked his ear off. Promised him all this stuff. Oh, this know, I'll guy, get you a job. You was this him? guy strong? Was he? Yo, he fucking... wasn't big. He was about a little shorter than me, but he was he was strong. Okay, and he was he could fight. Was everybody know? in there pretty fucking? Yeah, there were some big big dudes in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big dudes in there. Uh, and, that's, uh, that's negative. And <laughs> I had eyes on me right away, man. Because like, you know, really? I'm not I'm not a big dude, and you know, and I think a lot of guys wanted to run down on me at first. So yeah. it's uh, when you want to get your commissary, yeah, you, yeah, they yeah. run down on you and they just beat you up, take your commissary. I've seen it happen all the time. Really? Yeah. Uh, supposedly one of the kids told me they were going to do it, but they told him, you know, not see, you know, see what he's about and all that. Uh, how I survived, thank God, my dad, man, was a big supporter, man. He put money on my books. I got the max for commissary a week, $75 in food. And seventy five dollars in clothes, like T-shirts and stuff. So you just I maxed out every so you week. Bribe people with but honey not buns? only that. 
I did brought what I did was they had a store on the block. Yeah. There was got the guys that ran the block that were, they were workers. You get four to six workers on each block, and you know they have, they open up stores. So say before commissary comes, I come to them and say I want two soups. You get two for three. He gives me two. Next commissary, I give him three. So these Five guys, you're seven. not allowed to have a store though, right? Ten to fifteen. You technically know, but yeah. I mean, no one, no guards. So these are just guys in their cells selling shit and selling their own commissary they got a and bunch of fucking chunky soups. So they're just, they're just, these are just old school soup traders. Pretty, pretty you much. Just, <laughs> so you give two soups, then you got you get two you soups, give back you got three. give three, and then you he know, trades. The next thing, five for seven, five for eight is the worst. Ten for fifteen. Now, it took me two weeks to get in the mix and to get my commissary going. Yeah. And on the regular block, once I got that going, the people saw that money. I spent. I would send put money on. At first, I put money on some guy's book, one of the workers, for gave him twenty dollars. He gave me ten dollars worth of food. Now, let me tell you, I was starving when I got in. Yeah, how was the food? The food is absolutely horrible. I'm a picky eater as it is. <laughs> you don't even... And I ate stuff that I would never dream of eating. Like what? But I ate it. Uh, what was your first meal? I can't tell you my first meal, but they do a lot of chili. Yeah. You know, I, I was not good. a big chili fan, but I got real into it. They do a lot of uh, stony mac, and it's like. It's horrible. It's like meat and mac and cheese. It's not even mac and cheese. It's, yeah. it's hard. It's the yeah. worst food on the planet. And they don't give you that much. They don't give you that, especially the county. They don't. Uh, there's guys that did a hunger strike one time. I heard a story. Oh, jeez. And uh, <laughs> they hunger did a strike for, their DUI. <laughs> <laughs> for three days, they did a hunger strike because they want bigger. You get your tray in the up, county. What did they end up doing? <clears throat> now they actually got the. They weren't. You're supposed to get a, your portion. Is supposed to be a certain by by law by state law. It's supposed to be a certain amount. Yeah. Now, what happens is the kitchen workers, they eat all your food. They, they'll, yeah. they're, picking <laughs> they're, picking they're picking it. And every, every meal you get, you get like a meat, like your main course. Yeah. And then you get like a vegetable and you get like potatoes, rice, and you get a snack. In the county, you get a snack. You get all these cookies, put in, brownies. That's delicious. That's everyone's training and stuff like yeah, that, yeah. you know? People play cards for their snacks. <laughs> now, the guys that work in the kitchens, you know, they don't give you full portions. Yeah. So they did a hunger strike. They got, for three days, got the portions back to how they wanted. Big portions, but only lasted for a week. And then, and then they, they got, they the got fucking chili. Yeah. And they, the they started giving them smaller. <laughs> you know, the first, for a week, they got the right portions they're supposed to do. And I'll tell you about upstate. Once you get there, when we get there, it's yeah. just a whole different ball game with food. So then, what, anything else notable happen while you're in county jail? Uh, a rape. Uh, this dude was getting raped. Really? Oh, yeah. Jesus on your, Christ. On, on my your block, thing? On my block. And this is how bad it was. All right. This dude owned this dude. He would have let, he was raping him and he wouldn't let him take a shit in his bathroom. So in the showers, he was taking shits in the showers, putting, there's a little gutter for the, the drain for the yeah. water down. And he was with his feet putting, pushing the, sh- Fuck. the, the shit <laughs> down the drain. Do you know what the guy who was being raped was in for? No, I do not. Okay. Uh, also, before when I was in intake, I seen somebody kill himself. Seen somebody jump off the top tier and do a swan dive. Flat. Fuck. That was that was disturbing, man. That was. I mean, how, how many listen, floors did you jump from? Uh, just, just one. You got first floor. It's just a story. So it's like twenty feet. But there's a trail. He, sorry, there's a rail, and he stood up on the rail. Ugh. And, dude, and he just went, tried to go head first. Like this, and put his hands through. And, Holy. Dude, it was. Oh, oh, it was disgusting. Good it was just, God. Dude, and that's just in the. That's like your first month in there. That's, that's my first second. My second week in so the you're county. Sp- you heard, so you're just hearing rumors about rapes. Did you see? I didn't. No, not no. Oh my God! On my block, that's when the rape was going on. So you knew I about just, it. I knew about it. You know. And the guy who killed himself was an intake. He was an intake. Okay. This was before Jesus, he was an intake. Uh, there's a in George Hill and a lot of county prisons. A lot of suicides are not recorded. There's a lot of stuff that goes on that. The regular world don't know about. Yeah, yeah, you know they keep a lot of stuff because George Hill is privately owned, so the lot of stuff does not get out. Oof, you yeah, know? there's crazy. a lot of suicides that happened. That was very. I seen two suicides. That was disturbing. Uh, that was yeah, that was horrible. I mean, just the mm. way he, it was bad. The sound of it. That's horrible. Yeah, it was. So, uh, Ugh. so I said I'm in there for three months. That's the rape. You know, then my second month, I realized I kind of do this stuff. You know, I'm. Respect it on the block because I'm spending money. Yeah. I'm putting, pushing money around, going got, to the yeah, store every mad week. Fucking soups. To Chi Chi's. <laughs> the best thing about jail is this thing called Chi Chi. What it is is ramen noodles. Yeah. So say me, you, Matt, we're going to bid and do Chi Chi together. That'd be you sick. bring two soups, you just put two ramen noodles up. Right? You're going to bring the cheese curls. I'm going to bring the sausage log, the meat stick. 
You're gonna bring. We'll do pickles and chips with you. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. You get a bag, pickles right? Pickles and chips, dude. <laughs> now you, I would rape Matt the first. <laughs> Immediately, I'd be raping. Yo, Matt. I'm clearly these winning. These right cheese, now. man, are I still make them to this day. <laughs> really? I'm, I'm so it's just Cheetos mixed with it's cheese curls. Cheese curls mixed yeah. with. Um, what ramen, you do is you crush pickle, up the cheese curls. Yeah. Right. Oh, so it makes and it you, like cheese. First off, the the ramen noodles come in the square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You smash them all up. Yeah. Put them in the bag. <clears throat> Put your cheese curls in, and you cut up the meat log. The meat log's about that long, uh-huh. and you you know cut it with a razor blade. You yeah. Get, in the county, you actually get razors. You can buy razors on commissary, and people take them apart, and they're used as weapons. Yeah. Uh, and you put the sausages in. It. Normal chichi is cheese curls, soups, and the meat log. Yeah. That's the normal Sounds one. Sounds good. You add pickles to it. You can add. They get tuna, chicken breast. You can buy on commissary and. I had, I won't go more when we get farther down my bed, but I had some great chi chi. Some, they make wraps. They make wraps. We'll buy it. You come over dude, here and make oh, us some cheese. Yeah, it's it's man. Good, it's, man. I will do, listen, I got big. I got, I got, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, I put a lot pretty, of weight yeah. on it, man. I put a lot of weight on it. You were kind of coming in and out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You looked pretty fucking husky Absolutely. for a second. I'm back on my chi chi bed, man. It oh, puts, really? puts weight on me. Absolutely. <laughs> so, I need to get off the chi chi. <laughs> so, my first three months, I got, like I said, the raping, you know, I got, cust- I got accustomed to everybody. Everyone, you know, gave me respect. The reason I knew I got respect because one day for the for when we're getting trade was hot dog lunch, which is awesome. I like hot dogs. Yeah. I screw up hot dogs. It must be now, fucking lit on somebody, hot dog day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody man. dropped a hot dog. Like I said, they bring the trays to the block. It's just enough for everyone. Everyone gets yeah, one. Yeah. No, yeah. no extra stuff. Now, somebody dropped a hot dog. What they did is, what happened was they the trays are stacked up. Uh-huh. And when he picked up his tray, the hot dog got stuck to the tray oh, and okay. came on the ground. Now I just took it because I was eating like a champ. I yeah, chichis yeah. every. So three, you ate the hot dog off the ground. I was eating chichis ground? three times a day sometimes. Yeah, my per- I was doing personal chichis that's for big, myself. That's, that's yeah. like living it up. Man. I was living well, big Phil represent. <laughs> now the chichi, sorry, this hot dog fell on the ground. Yeah, and I was like, whatever, I'll take it. You know, I was being you know a team yeah. player, took it, and then about like ten minutes later, I'm, I'm in my cell. It was during lunchtime. I hear Lynch or Phil, my name being called. Yeah. And it was one of the block workers, Tweez, man. He's a good dude. I just want to stay with him. And uh, he had he had a hot dog for me. Damn, you gave my, another hot dog? I remember my cell, he was saying, dude, i never seen that happen before. You know, for no guys to go out of your way to, you know, do that. That's it's awesome. It's just like, it was cool. It was because, like, I never accumulate debt. I spent, they made money off of me. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I spread love to the people that, you know, I knew would give it back. I definitely got, you know, beat a lot of times my first month the yeah. first couple but of months you know what like a can of fucking dumb stuff you know, soup, yeah it's like soups and stuff yeah. but like somebody would learn. fuck you up and take your not soup not fuck me up uh would, would say oh, i'll give you one on commissary oh like, no okay problem. that's what you then mean i thought you meant beef, so, there, like, now, there was, so you're telling in jail there's some definitely uh there's some like shitty soup traders in there absolutely oh my god there's unscrupulous fucking soup merchants <laughs> 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 they're bad there's a known one uh he's a known one through the county you go there to George Sill and say this guy's name. Yeah. And everyone's got stories for days about him. About his bad about, soup deals? Does everything. How he's, he's like he's the a, Donald Trump of now, soup now, deals. This dude did two years. He maxed out his, his county sentence in two years, right? Straight. So he'd been on every block. He was yeah. in the drug trade. He would go to blocks, accumulate, rack up so much store debt, yeah. and then leave, you know? Get him, uh, start a fight with someone weaker than him. You know, he's, he's a piece of shit. That's so funny. So how was it? How Was there like a ton of drugs and shit in there too? Yes. There's a, uh, Suboxone is a big drug. How are they getting them in? Uh, now the county, when I was there, it was through the mail. They get the Suboxone strips. Yeah. And then the guards bring in the other stuff like heroin, weed, all yeah. the hard stuff. But yeah. I know what Jesus. you do is you get a card, you cut, you get a razor blade and you cut open the card and you put the strips in there. They're kind of hip onto it now. Oh, because Suboxone comes in a little strip, little like strips. a Listerine breath strip. And they, they mail it in. And other ways, like I said, it was it was the guards. Some guards were dirty and getting paid to do stuff. And visits. People swallow yeah. balloons on visits. And now, a story about this kid, right, that's known in the county. And this is one of the stories he's known about. They, they saw him the visit. They saw him swallow a balloon. They knew he had some. Yeah. Right? So what they did was they made him. They wouldn't let him go back to the block until he took a shit. They want him to shoot him out, right? So the dude, he's nervous as hell. He's in there for a long time. You know, he, the story is that he took the shit and he felt it coming out that he was able somehow to pinch his butt to catch the drugs 
and still let the shit come out. You let it turn out and call, kept the balloon in kept there? Kept the balloon in there and got away was with it. Was it the guy That's who like was getting story. raped? No, there's not the guy getting raped. <laughs> you would think so. Have, somebody should have raped him. That so sounds that like one of the most magical butts yeah, I've ever had. Unbelievable. But, wow. Uh, yeah, that's my first three you months. You break the internet with that butt. <laughs> <laughs> now, I took a deal. I took, it's called, I was looking at, now I said, I just wanted to get out. I would have done, I would have got a one to two in the county. Yeah. You know, this is three months. I'm, I'm, I'm not, this is not my, I'm not used to this type of stuff. So I took a deal. It's called drug court. Yeah. Now what drug court is, is it's technically a, f- I think a four year sentence, but you do what it is you do two years. You have to report to the judge. You have to see a judge once a week in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then once you get to a certain level then you go like once a month and then. So you're out of jail. Other, you're out of jail, but you're not really. You got a pro, you see a pro, pro officer once a week. You do the same yeah. called intestinal outpatient. So you're, yeah, you're out of jail. Now they're you're on you, like they're drug testing you three times a week. They don't let you do anything. I mean, the rules are ridiculous. They find out if you left the county, went to Philly, they they'll violate you. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. I lasted it. How yeah? How'd your drug court go? Eight days in drug court, and the judge told me I never seen anybody get. This charge, it kicked out of jail court so fast without catching a new charge. This is unbelievable. So you're, you're yeah, just melting cups. Two to four. I was melting through everything, dude. Melting cups, lying, <laughs> forging my meeting list. What's yeah. uh, Not going to community service. I did what the fuck no, I wanted to do. Off. Melting cups is... Okay, right. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. I have about three melted cups. <laughs> now, while I'm, I'm doing 28 days, I went back to the county twice. for like a, I did a date. Sorry. I'm back to the county one time for a day trip. For what? I met a cop, and the judge was like, you're going to the county. I decide what I'm going to do with you. Let me out the next day. Okay. okay. That was a long 24 hours. That yeah. shit was horrible, right? Were you so, in... Uh... I had 13 sanctions in 28 days. Okay. For so everything. When did you... When was the time when you smacked the cup on accident? You were out of pocket. Oh, that was you were out of pocket. I was out of pocket, bro. Out of pocket. I was real out of pocket, right? <laughs> and I remember, man, when they... Uh, my final sanction, when they... You know, this time I, I burned the cup up. Now, quick story. I got caught... And I went to IOP three days a week, and they drug test us there. And then I saw my pro officer. Now I was on high, such high, not high, like they had eyes on me, like yeah. I, yeah. So I had to see my PO twice a week. So I had, I was getting killed. But in the beginning, um, I got, I got, you know, I've been on some box before in the past, and I didn't know you're gonna get high off until you all went to jail and found out. So I did. Now <clears throat> I'm still in my addiction. I, uh, you know, when I was on drug court for the first two weeks, I d- did a suboxone. Got away with it. Next week, I did it again. Took a piss test at my IOP, and it came back the next week. I felt it. Yeah. Now, this is on a... F- I felt it on a Friday, and I took it that Friday also. Now, I, my pro officer don't find out about it until Tuesday. Calls me in that file on Tuesday and has me take a piss from him right there. And Suboxone is a special test. He had me do a dipstick and said, I'm hot for Suboxone. Would you do it? I said, I, I did it Friday. Mm-hmm. He goes... I want to see what I'm going to do with you. Took me to the head the supervisor in charge of drug court. This lady, is, she, she had a parole also. Sat down with her. She goes, so you're telling me that you're hot for the boxing team. You told me you did it on Friday. There's no way that's, that's possible. I said, what do you want me to tell you? I did it on Friday <laughs> and did it on Tuesday. Yeah. Now, I never saw the tests. Now, what pro officers do a lot, and I heard a lot of stories where they do is, and I actually had this happen to me more than once, too, that they'll say, oh, why are you hot for this when you're not? They just want to see if you yeah, want to say, freak out, yeah. you know, see if you admit to it. So this, I think this is, what, this is definitely what happened because I wasn't hot in case the test was wrong, but he said I, I was, but he never showed me the test. Now, I'm in the room with the head lady and my pro officer telling him that I did it on Friday, and she said, there's no way that's possible. And she grabs, like, two or three other pro officers, females, Brings them in and says, tells them the, what's going on. This kid did this thing on Friday and said that he did it on Friday, and he's, but he's hot on Tuesday. That's impossible. He had to do it a different day. I'm sitting there like, no, I didn't. I did it on yeah. Friday. I understand it's Tuesday, but I'm, what I'm telling you is so you're, you're I did not do it. You're arguing with a bunch of like parking authority I'm, ladies basically. For like an hour. And now, right? now why is it impossible that you did it on Friday? Why is well, that they impossible? said it should have been out my system. It's in your system at the most okay. three days. I see. Now, I've already had a couple of sanctions with the judge. I did my, my 24 hours in the county. Yeah. Now, I'm nervous. You know, and she finally she goes, listen, if you just tell us the truth, I will personally make sure when you go in front. I was supposed to see the judge that night. When you go in front of the judge that night, you will not go to jail, and your sanction will be light. Yeah. She didn't say light, but in those yeah, terms. Yeah. Now, I'm saying, <clears throat> I said to her, well, do you want me to tell you I did something when I didn't do it? 
You know, and I said something like that. She goes, well, now you, now we see your lying. Well, you want me to lie. That's yeah. what, so and what we'll happened? argue for now. Finally, I, I just put my, I surrendered and said, listen, I did it on Sunday, which was completely false. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I got you. My, my sanction was community service. Uh, like, I forget how many hours, like 24 hours. And I did 16. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <the> sanction. <laughs> you know, I, if I do 16, though, if you're I not going to do it. it. What the fuck? I just did, did what zero. I wanted to in drug court. I just thought I was the man. I could get away with everything. Yeah. Because yeah. my first time being in this thing, I thought I could beat these people. I thought I'm the first one. Yeah, I can yeah. get away with everything. But yeah, there's yeah. been a lot of people like me that can't get away with none. <laughs> and I didn't, as you can see, 28 days, 13 seconds later. So what happened. Now, my final one, I go to the high and they send me to, back to the county. Now, I'm in the county for two, I go there July 1st. Is that the granny's birthday? Yeah. yeah. July 1st. <laughs> now, I'm talking to my dad, talking to my lawyer. They're saying that I'm going to get another, another shot in drug court, but you have to go in front of the judge. Uh-huh. So I sit there for two months. And then every night I'm talking to my dad. You know, I'm stressing. He goes, don't worry, you're going. You know, and other dude was in there from drug court. And he's like, yeah, we're going to get another chance, you know, blah, blah, blah. Now, in my mind, I'm getting another chance. So, I, this time, I'm, I'm in 4A. I'm also, now I'm in the jungle. So, now, you're in the worst block now? I'm in the worst. I'm with all the young dudes from Chester. Just robbing people left and right, just wilding out. Yeah. I, I make it out there, no problem. You know, you know I just, I'm, I know how to do a bid now. Yeah. You know, I did 4C. I know how to. How long were you in 4C? Uh, three months. Three months. And now, you got out, did 28 days in drug court. And now back, you're back in 4A. 4A. Okay. And I'm in here two months. Now you're in 4A and, uh, for two months. Now, uh, everything's going good. I'm commissary king, you know. Still in the, the store. Suits, the Swansons are going people strong. People putting money on people's books, killing it, eating. And then uh, in my mind is I'm going one more chance to drug court. Yeah. You know, and thank God I didn't get that chance. But uh, I'll never forget I was in. And we went. Now, when you have to go to court in county prison, it's a little pain in the ass process. They wake you up 4 in the morning, take you down to the holding cell in the county. You're there for like three hours. You get your breakfast. And they come, they have to shack you up, hands and feet, put you with two other people. Now it was like a chain, me and yeah, two yeah, other yeah. people. So you're like, your brothers were art thou? Yeah, exactly. It's just like that. <laughs> I'm George Clooney, though. Yeah. So they take us to, um, they take us on the, on the vein, you know, and we get to court by like 8.30. You know, we've been up since 4. It's just a long okay, process. Okay. It's so horrible, right? You know, I go in front of the judge. Now my lawyer comes down to me and says, listen, you need to tell this judge why you want to stay in drug court. Yeah. You know, you better, you know, give it to him. Tell him some good stuff. <laughs> I'm like, all right, all right. I get in front of the judge, right? That's what I say to him. Uh, well, I really want to do it this time, uh, judge. I forget his name. Anyway, yeah. what are we going to do this time? Uh, well, one thing is uh, I'm on uh, – Joe Court was – just how bad Joe Court was. They made me – they put me on medication. I didn't want to go on. Yeah. Paxol, antidepressants. They put me yeah. on – that's how serious it was. It was it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. They don't let you do anything. They wouldn't let me work for like the first year. Yeah. So I was like, well, they put me on a new... And they give you mandatory medication? medication? Absolutely. Ooh, that's... Uh, you yeah. have to see a psychiatrist. Seems pretty unconstitutional. Whatever he, whatever he yeah, thinks crazy. you should take. You have to. You have to take it. And they, hmm. they piss at you to make sure you're taking that stuff, too. Wow. Shit. Now, now, I guess you do have the freedom to not take it, but then you just go to jail. It's, they're going to put you on some... It's just... You're not going to win with them. You do have that right to not take yeah, some medication. Yeah, you can say, no, I'm not going to take the medication, but then they're just going to be like, be on right, your you're, ass. you're out just, of drug court. You then. might as well just, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did not want to take this stuff. So they didn't like your speech. They did, well, I, I, I started taking stuff in the county, and I said, listen, I was, I'm taking the medication. I see a big difference, and that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> you know, I don't want to let down my you know, my grandfather, my aunt, and my dad were in the court, right? And I come out shackled up, man. It's just embarrassing. Yeah, and then, of course. Because the judge was just like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, well, before my, my, my aunt talked, my aunt Joanne's great. She goes, yeah. I want to make sure he goes. I'm going to take him to all his meetings. Cause she's the one that actually got me in the drug court. Mm-hmm. You know, she has some connections. And, yeah. You know, so she she was awesome, and, and she went from the judge. She said, "Listen, uh, I'm gonna make sure he goes." And she she did that stuff. Yeah, she yeah. took me to drug court a couple of times. She was awesome, but uh, like I said, my spiel didn't work. And he goes, <laughs> "Boom, uh, you did. You got six months credit right now. So you're gonna do. I'm gonna give you triple RI, which is if you're nonviolent." Which I don't know how I got with that because I had a simple soil on my record, but they still gave it to me. You get they probably asked about the fight three months. Oh, they were like, yeah, give you didn't really do shit. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> what's the what's the simple assault? My real quick, real like quick. He started a fight. My cousins beat someone up in West <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got we got knocked down. We got charged with simple assault. And we got knocked down with disorderly conduct. Yeah, yeah. And triple R I is nonviolent. You get it. It was just three months off to a year. So every year you get three months knocked off. 
So when he told me, he goes, you got six months in, you're going to be doing a year upstate. I thought I was going to get 18 and 36. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't calculate the triple RI. I didn't know anything about it. So I remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So what's what's you, triple RI? It's just uh, when you're upstate, it's a state sentence. And if you're, you don't have any violence on your. If, you're, if your charge is not violent. Yes. You can be qualified to get triple RI, so which is... So it cuts your time in half, You cut your times, pretty much you get three months off one year. Okay. Okay. So, but when he told me you got six months credited, and I think I only had really five, I forget So what you, I you thought you were going to jail I, for 18 months. I thought I was getting 18, I thought my sentence was 18 and 36, yeah. but it was actually two to four. So it was good news. It was, yeah, good oh, news. Oh, wait, so you end up getting more. But technically, you got more for parole, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, but uh, I weren't walking back... Uh, the, the sheriffs I take you when you get done court, you know, I said bye to my family. So I'm not going to see them for a while. Yeah. I get no visits in the county. Yeah. I didn't want to, you know. And then, you know, I said bye to everyone. You know, I broke my dad's heart. I'll never forget that. But I'm um, walking back, and the judge was like, the, the sheriff that was taking me back, he's like, what'd you get? I was like, I told him what I got. He's like, oh, that's nothing, man. And I had so much relief once I got that, too. Like, so you're out of the county? I'm out. Not just, I'm out of the county. Like, I know what I have to do. Yeah. And yeah. I'm done all this shit. Because judge court was so stressful. I just, it was just, I was, wasn't ready to, you know, settle yeah. down. It just wasn't for me. It was just, it was, every night was something stressful. Like, parole were coming up. Yeah, You know, it just, it was just crazy. So, uh, I'll never forget, I walked back to the block. Now, there's, an, the other kid was telling me about drug court. He thought he was going to get a second chance, too. Yeah. Now, he had a crazy new charge, assault record. He had his, uh aggravated assault on staff members at a hospital. He was uh, messed up on, on Clonopins. Now he came. He asked me what I got. I told him I got 1836. He, oh, nice. He's like, oh, I think I want to get off. He gave him a three to six, and he came back crying his eyes out, man. That I'll never forget sucks. that. And a lot of guys come back crying, man, because they get on my block, dude. There's guys that were getting five to ten. I seen someone get thirteen to twenty six. I mean, there was some real hefty sentences. Now, just to make sure, like thirteen to twenty six is thirteen to twenty six years. Thirteen to twenty six years. Oh, yes. baby. Sucks. So I come back. And I'm just, everyone's like, oh, what happened? I was like, I got 1836. And I'm just cool about it. And everyone's like, I can't believe. But it's like, at that point, what are you going to do? Yeah, exactly. You know, like, You're stuck. I'm, I, I'm going to make the best out of it. You know, I yeah. definitely needed something different in my life. I was definitely going down the wrong path, you know, definitely using and stuff. So, I, so, now so that's my county bid, and I get prepped up to do my state bid now. All right. So you want to you wanna take a quick take break? Take a break, yeah. 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 So break. And then we'll get into the state. We're back. All oh right. my god! So basically, we're finished with the county. Don't Just the county. all you gotta do is have a little bit of money, be oh, good yeah, with your yeah, soup yeah. deals. So if you're a guy facing DUI, just fucking stack up. You gonna get suits. DUI building? Okay. So that's how about cool. how about real quick? Like you'd be fucked if you were poor in there, right? Oh my god, absolutely. Like if if you let's say you don't have any parents or anybody on the outside sending you money. Yeah. Yeah. What ha- what's it look like for those guys? It depends. Like I'm a picky eater. Yeah, I would die of starvation. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and but there's some guys that have no money. They you you have to find a hustle. A lot of guys they they make money off drawing. Drawing is a big thing. They drive cars for your girlfriend, for your parents, holidays, nice. and they'll, they'll get an envelope. And yeah. They'll put a draw on it, purchase and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. That's a big bit. That's a big money thing. Tattoos. You got guys that can make tattoo guns. You see it more up. You see it in the county. A lot of I see more in the county too. But uh, and plucking, which is plucking. I, I almost got plucked. I wanted to get plucked in the county to show. Like, yeah, I got this in the county. So happy I didn't do it. What is it? It's uh, you get you get some black ink. You know, they heat it up however they do it, uh-huh. and you get uh, like a like a paper clip, some sharp. Yeah, and they uh, they put the ink in it. They, I think somehow they heat it up and they pluck you. So like, a real shitty they, tattoo. They stab you. So they give shitty, you horrible dots tattoo. On you? Yeah, but they actually, dude, there's guys. Oh, like you, a cool you see, pattern. not just there's guys that pluck that look like it was done by a gun. Oh, Some God. amazing. There's amazing artists in jail. Yeah, how yeah. about how about uh, any booze? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. We'll get to that. Okay. Uh, All right. So yeah. So we just finished right. your, yeah. your your bid in county. My, my, I said my, stint uh, again. Five and a half. Talking months like in a county, real yeah. pussy over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's funny to hear all these and just be like, man, I am a fucking bitch. <laughs> like, dude, I, that's fucking crazy. But uh, so you just got out of county, went to drug court. Or no, no, no. Yeah. At the end of drug court, they were like, all right, you're just gonna do two to four. Two to four. Two to four in state prison. Yes. Okay. And now where are you headed right now? All right. At I, two uh, to four. Now, 
for Delaware County, you go to upstate to Graterford. Now, how the state works is you got Graterford on the eastern side. So any eastern on the eastern side of Pennsylvania, anybody that's in the county jails, when you go upstate, you go to Graterford first. If you're in central PA, you go to Camp Hill first. And if you're in the western side of Pennsylvania, you go to Western State Penitentiary first. But that closed down, so I forget where they go to okay. now. So, but you go there first. Yeah. Right before now, Camp Hill is the classification jail. It's yeah. where you classify. So I'm in the county, in Delaware County, we go up on Fridays. Mm-hmm. So, but you don't know when you're going. Now, like I said, I was on four block. And what you usually do is when you get, when you get sentenced to a state sentence, they usually send you to seven block. Okay. Because that's the state block yeah. before you go upstate. There's, I've, I heard guys that got sentenced and stayed in there for two months before they went. Shit. Some, I think because I was short. I got sentenced on a Tuesday. I went upstate that Friday. Yeah. I was blessed. It was very lucky. I never, I never went to Seven Block. They okay. woke me up Friday morning. I had no idea. They just woke me up. So uh, they packed stuff yeah, and you're going. Here. So, well, you're, so you're fast forward now. You're in, what's the state uh, state prison? I'm going what's to state that, prison from the like county. What's versus the county? So now you're oh, in there. The difference is night and day. It's nice. Night and day, man. It's just, I mean, everything. Uh, commissary is way cheaper, for example. A soup in Delaware County, sixty-five cents. A soup upstate is twenty-three cents. Damn, that's just that's so the just, soup market's totally just everything. I mean, the meat logs <laughs> in the county are three dollars. Soup market, <laughs> those are volatile soup. Dude, market. I got a bunch of soup. I live <laughs> off soup. You, I'm yeah, poor you, as fuck. I only it. eat soup. Oh, me too, man. You, yeah. would, if you could live on soups and if you could smuggle soups in, you would oh, kill it. Oh, fuck yeah! Dude, I might so have to go to. Di- I might have to fucking. <laughs> you actually you, kill you can make some money. Suck. I would be. I would be horrible. So I mean, you're enjoying prison. yourself in state prison uh, comparatively. For, yes, yeah, because yeah, you're, you're like I said, the difference between county and state is state. There's no getting bailed out state. Yeah, Once you, that's your sentence. You're your in, sentence, yeah. and you, you have to be sentenced two or more years. Okay, so your back numbers got to be two or more years. Yeah, yeah, and the numbers are always usually even. I've seen uneven ones, guys. I get fucked like two, two to ten years. <laughs> yeah, as, you know. Yeah. Now that you know, three to six. What that is so, is. You have to do your front numbers is what you have to do uh-huh. in state prison or county. Your, your county jail does, your county time does count. So like if you get said, three to six, you're in jail not knowing whether you're going to do three or six years. Exactly. That's all kind of sucks. All depends it, on does it, does it, is it based on good behavior? It's based on a lot of things. It's based on good behavior. It's based on programs. That's a big thing these days. The biggest program okay. is called TC, the Therapeutic Community. Now, when I first started this back in the early 2000s, it was. Now, I could be wrong about that. I might even start it before that, but uh, it was like a six-month uh, program. Now it was four months. And uh, we'll, I'll tell you about that when we hit Western. So I, I go to from the county on a Friday, woken up, and I get going to Gradeford. Yeah. That's when I meet John D'Amico, man, my old head. And that's another thing in jail, and you're going to have a thing called an old head and a young, and you're a young boy. Yeah, yeah. You know, you <laughs> want to have one of each. You yeah, know, yeah, old more, head more than boy. one is even better. But I have many. Is it young, better to have more old heads or young boys? See, it depends what, what we're talking about. Now, my young boys did all my cooking for me. Yeah. They did all my dirt for me. Why? You know, because I, I I hated cooking. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I'm like, saying, why I, would they do it? You give them shit. Because I was I was they're my own boys. You yeah, know, they yeah. didn't have my own boys didn't have a lot of money. Yeah, you know, they barely had money, and so I so you, know, you had, I like, you had like minions when you went to jail. Exactly, and they're my you know, and I had some big young boys, some tough young boys that had my back and would let nothing. You know, if anything Wait, went you, down, I'm jump sorry, from I'm sorry. I was texting uh, my cousins to find out where my uncle was warden, but um. You had young boys, young boys, and old heads, yeah, young and boys old and old heads. They, they and old heads. So, so I was right in the middle. My, my okay. age, I was like, so an old nine. head, someone older than you, it's does old head, what man. for you though? I mean, like he's just kind of like just a mentor. Like wisdom, my old head yeah. schooled me into the state prison. Uh, yeah, he told me all about state prison. And and my, he, my old head, we went, we left Delaware County the same day to go to Gradeford and end up being bunkies, uh, cellies together in Gradeford. Oh, that's cool. We did. Two months together, and then we got one from e- – now, when you go to Gradeford from the county, like I said, this is crazy. You know, you're going from county prison to Gradeford. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Gradeford. It no. is a different road. It is humongous. Now, uh-huh. a penitentiary, the difference between a prison and a penitentiary is the wall. You know, now, a lot of – all federal institutions, for the most part, are penitentiaries. Okay. You know, I'm not sure if they have walls or not, but I know state for the state of Pennsylvania, the difference between a penitentiary and a prison is the wall. You know, some have fences, some judges have fences. You know, 
Uh, so if it's fenced in, it's a penitentiary? No, this wall. If you have a big ass, oh, got you. Two, yeah, yeah. Two story wall that goes around the entire. So that's a penitentiary. Place. Then it's a penitentiary. Uh, so Grantford's penitentiary. And a prison is a fence. It's like the bar fence, wire fence. Bar wires. That's the only you know? difference. So only, listen, uh, hmm. crazy. Like I said, for state and state of Pennsylvania, that's the difference. And okay. other states would be different. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, federal yeah. is different. Uh, but uh, yeah, for the most, in, you know, upstate in Pennsylvania, that's the difference. Now, so Greater Ford's got this humongous wall. Now, you, I'm saying, you coming from county prison, never seen this place, and it's just how big it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, had a, I felt like I walked a mile to get to the block from when I got in there. You know, we get down, and it's just cool how, how the guards, how different they are than county. They're yeah. just They respect you more, uh-huh. and they're just a lot cooler. I, was, I remember being in, like, the intake section at Greater Ford, compared to, you now in Delaware County, you're locked in. The door's shut, and it just it sucks. And great for the doors open. You can walk out to use the bathroom. You don't have to use it in the actual yeah, place. Yeah, the shit in front of people. And they're just doing the shit. It's just like it's so much better. Yeah, you know? also I would imagine, and tell me if I'm right here, is uh, like in, in the county prison, there's got to be like a sense of like desperation and stress because oh, you don't know what the fuck's going, going on. Going on. You exactly. think you're getting out. You think you're fucked. You, like there's, there's got to be so much more stress in oh, county absolutely. versus so, state where like you said, you just, here's what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. I was so, like I said, I was so stressed out before I, and I got my state sentence. Like I said, I came back, and everyone's like, "Wow, you're so cool!" It's just you're happy. It's such a relief. Like I'm doing. So how, I need I need to fast forward back to your minions. Did your yeah, old so head, my, did your old head tell you to get minions? <laughs> like, how did you find out to get just, young boys? And how did, did they, they wear? The overalls? county told me about it. <laughs> it was just like you know, my, oh, that's my young boy. You yeah. Know? Oh, that's my old head. So you want to young boys? Talking bad. about. Yeah, especially the ones I got, man. I got I some riders, man. That's another word is rider. You yeah. Know, if you call your girl a rider, you know, that yeah. means like she, like, my girl was a rider. Like, she was great. You know, yeah. she, was, she was just an like, awesome woman. Uh, you know, someone that's, you know, you know Caitlin, is going to be there for you. Like, <laughs> right, my, my dad was my rider yeah. Yeah. for these for this thing. You know, <laughs> if somebody like, always count on, send me money. You know, yeah. You know, Matt, you were a rider. Wrote, you, you picked up my. You, every time I, you I picked up phone, wrote me. You, too. you know, you tore everybody I was in. So yeah. I'm getting letters, and that's the thing. Getting mail in prison, it's like it's gold. Cool. Yeah. You know, it's just like every day you'd be waiting for four o'clock to come to see if you get a mail. Yeah. They called, and if you don't get it. They call it a drive by. <laughs> oh, Lynch got a drive by. <laughs> you just see the guard going by because the mail yeah, time is yeah. every time. That's the best <laughs> drive by. <laughs> that's just so funny. <laughs> so. uh yeah, my young boys and uh, my well. Before what, what, I had, did any, you ever? What did you ever use your young boy? Did they ever come like? Yo, I could. We're gonna. I could have. They would have. They would have ride. Well, especially my first young boy was in the county, and I just I look back at it now, and that's why I know he was my young boy. You know, I told Karen, give him some was poor, but uh, he was a fighter. <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, I got you back. No, no one's going to happen to you. And just like they just look up to you, like I'm like some type of godsend to them. So mm-hmm. I'll give them a soup whenever they want. <laughs> I'll give them how important soup is. Oh, I understand. Soup and yeah, co- understand. coffee. Now you yeah, get a bag of that. instant coffee. They call shots. Now a shot of coffee goes for soup, and this is in the county. It stays different. All that stuff. But uh, you know, my own boys always got shots of coffee when they want it. You know, and they just they were wild boys. that would do whatever. You yeah. know, because my young boy in the county was going to pluck me, and you know, <laughs> plucks are expensive, man. He was going to pluck me for free. Damn. You know. I mean, like I said, I always looked out for him and stuff. Yeah. But when I left the county Friday morning, I gave him all my commissary, all my stuff. Yeah. And my own boy. I like to bump into him. I forget his name, but uh, he was a good dude. Young so black now you're boy. Stay, stay in the, the what you call it? Now I stayed. State prison. And then uh, what happened? Was there anything notable that happened in there? Well, so you went to Greaterford. My my old head. We said we were sellies. He told me everything. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know, told me uh, the difference. Like I said, commissary. You could smoke. You could smoke up there. That's chill. And the biggest drug in prison is a drug called K2. They call it Fake weed? Fake weed. Think marijuana. The reason yeah, they have yeah. it in there is because <laughs> you can't test for it. Like now, the gas station shit you buy. I have an experience with Tukey in Greatford. That's a pretty funny story. I was with my, one of my young boys from Aston. Uh, <laughs> now, he was a hippie kid, stoner kid. Now, K2 makes you trip in a way. It really, like when you smoke it, you're just like, you know, it's a bad drug, real bad. But people just, they bug out on it. They stress. Now, we and him get a stick for like $3 for, you know, that's cheap upstate. You know, a couple of soups. So you got a, you gotta, you so gotta we got a couple stick. soups for a stick of cake, so, too. <laughs> now, I want to. That's awesome. So, I'm in. Uh. Like I said, when I was in Gradeford, 
I was on E-Block first for six weeks. Now, I did a long stint in Gradeford, which is really unheard, not unheard of, but it was, the jails were so populated. If you had under two years, you were going to go, you're going to spend a week and go right to Camp Hill to get classified. Yeah. You anything more than two years. Camp, oh, really? I lived in Camp Hill. Oh, yeah, this yeah, Camp yeah. Hill, man. Wait to hear about Wait, that what place. Happened, what happened with this deuce when you guys smoked it? So I'm on E-Block now. Yeah. You know, I'm working out. I'm getting strong. Feeling Smoking good. Now I want to relax. I'm going to smoke one deuce stick. <laughs> one deuce stick. Now, <laughs> now, the kid told me, he's like a hippie kid, said, listen, I'm the best person you want to trip with. You know, everyone trips with me, you know? Because I was telling him, like, dude, I don't really, I'm not really trying to bug out off this shit. I'm just trying to take a hit, you know? I was yeah, not yeah, looking, yeah. you know? I, mean, I heard all these crazy stories about it. Yeah. So he's telling me that he's the best person to smoke with and trip with. He's going to take care of me, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> so you're in jail with an evil hippie, basically. We're evil hippie. And I'll, I'm, <laughs> we're, this time, I said, I went from E Block, which was when you're getting classified. Because okay. E Block is everyone that's getting ready to go to Camp Hill or PV. Guys have a full. Okay. And then the other difference is PVs are in blues. All you're right. In blue, blue clothes. Now, if you're going to Camp Hill, you're in a yellow jumpsuit. Okay. That thing sucked. I wear that a thing for three months. <laughs> really yeah, exactly. So, what happened with this fucking dude? So, now I'm at, like I said, on E Block was, you know, we had yard every other uh-huh. yard time. Or block out. Yeah. Now I get I did six weeks and I get to A block because like I said everything was filled up. So they put a lot of us before we came to A block, which was twenty three and one. So, so we we walked to, we walked we were able to walk to meals and we were able to go to commissary, so get haircuts. Twenty three hours a day. We, yeah, we won at, yeah, it was it was horrible. So we played one on one spades. That was awesome. And we played okay. general with me and my young, one of these young boys. Right, tell me that I'm the best person to strip with. So we smoked the deuce. <laughs> And I'm, 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 I'm loving it. I'm chilling. I'm, you know, on my deuce high playing spades and stuff. <laughs> Dude, after five minutes, I'm, you know, I'm like all swole too. I don't doing, you know, I'm yeah, getting yeah. kind of big and stuff, feeling great. We're playing cards. And all of a sudden he, he, he's like a, he's like a, like a woof or, you know, like, looks, like jerks his head up real quick. You hear that? I'm like, what are you out of here now, man? Come on. <laughs> and then yeah. I'm trying to get him out of it. Right. He does it again. Yo. You hear what they just said? Now, someone said something over the loudspeaker. He thinks what they said on the loudspeaker was our cell, whatever our cell was, and they said our names. We know you guys are smoking K2. We're coming down. <laughs> we're okay, we know you're smoking, smoking K2. Juice. We're coming down to take you to the hole. He tells me this. I grab the other half of the stick and flush it down the toilet. Ah, uh, now, fuck. Now, I'm sorry, but before all this goes, right, now he kept jerking his head up. And he told me that I thought he was kind of bullshitting Dude, around. Bugging out in then, jail. Now, when you're in your jumpsuit, right? When you, when you get in, in your cell in your jumpsuit, you take it off and you tie the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the arms around your thing. You're just uh-huh. chilling and stuff. This motherfucker, man, puts his jumpsuit on, starts packing his box. Now, we have boxes when you go to Camp Hill to travel and stuff. He starts packing up all his boxes. He's ready Everything for the in the room, right? Yeah. And I'm not knowing what's going on, you know? <laughs> He's going to break then, out. Then he comes over to me, puts his hands out like a gentleman. He goes, It's nice to meet you, Phil, man. You know, what are you talking about? Dude? We're going to the hole. I'm like, dude, get the hell out of here, dude. Fuck the hell out. Now, every time I hear keys, I'm at the gate looking out. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for the cops to come down on me. And uh, all night, dude, all night, I'm, you know, for like the first two hours after this happened, every time I heard the keys, I'm at the gate. And I, fucking two hours, no one comes by. We're not getting locked up. We're not going to the hole. He was just fucking bugging yeah, yeah, the fuck yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. Bugged out yeah. That was it. You know, and then the next day I was just we we're bidding on him hard. I told a couple people's story, dude, and we're just cracking up. Yeah. I'll never forget that. But uh, yeah, so now I'm going to camp. Now I get Camp Hill. Now you don't know me. How long going. were you in Greaterford? Uh, three months. Okay, three months, three months in Greaterford, months camp, and then they long. transfer you to Camp Hill. Camp Hill. Now okay. you don't know you're going to Camp Hill till the night of. They pack the guard comes by, packs up all your stuff, and he takes your boxes. You get boxes when you go. Uh-huh. You know, he counts all your commissaries and whatever your so food is. So it comes with gonna, you. comes with you. So the next day, you told me we're going to Camp Hill. All the people I came in the graver with were all going to Camp Hill. And they're all the dudes up my old head. Yeah. We're all doing biz with. So we all go to Camp Hill together, which is great because I'm going to Camp Hill. Mm-hmm. Now, Camp Hill is so strict, it's, especially when you're in blues. Now I went from a yellow jumpsuit to blues in Camp Hill. Blue is for parole violations. In Greaterford, it is. In Greaterford. And then Camp Hill means you're about to get, you're not yet classified. Okay. So they don't know what level I am, all that stuff. So it's like military kind of? Camp Hill was military, man. It was every, mm-hmm. now in jail, they have a thing called count. In the county, you don't even know. They don't even call count. They just yeah. come around and make sure everyone's in. They do it four times a day. Uh-huh. Up St. Greaterford, they announce it. Count time in the morning, like around 6.30, in the afternoon around 12, 
in the even time around four okay. and before lights are out, like nine thirty. But it, grade four don't matter. Some guards will make you stand up, but it, it was cool. It can't pill. Every count when you're in blues, you had to be at the door with your lights on, both you and your cell. It was just a pain in the ass. Yeah. Every morning, and if you didn't, they would get you get in trouble. Uh, oh, quick, another funny story. Like I said, I'm so green. I'm in I'm in Gradeford, right? And then I'm on the A block, which was still kind of strict, 23 and one. Yeah. We don't get time to really mingle with people. We're coming back from dinner time. <laughs> Mingle's now, a funny word. <laughs> now my boy is at Christian the end. Christian Mingle. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's name is Chris. He's at the end of the block. Yeah. Uh, great for the blocks are so long and I had to get something from like coffee or tobacco or something and I, now when you when we came back from meal, from the meal it was supposed to be at your door ready to go uh-huh. in so I tried to run down and get my stuff from them so I run down and they, <laughs> the next thing you know I, when I'm running down I hear the gates being open that means they they had this this lever that opens up all of the cells and great yeah. for how old it is so I hear the lever go off and I'm going down I'm like shit come on keep going keep going Phil keep going and then they say, lock it in, everyone get in. So everyone goes in. Now, I'm at him getting my stuff now yeah. when they're saying this stuff. So I'm running back when everyone's in, and I'm just, I'm so nervous while everyone's, all the guards see me. <laughs> yeah, and they yeah. go, <clears throat> my, my, my state number is LR3892. They call me in the loudspeaker coming to the bubble, which is in the middle of the block where all the guards sit. And they took my ID. I shit myself because I thought I was going to the hole for yeah. something so stupid. Yeah, yeah. But I was so goddamn scared. I was yeah. like, I can't go to the hole, man. You know, I'm fucking my parole and all that stuff. So they took my ID, dude. I was so nervous for 24 hours. And Chris and John were bidding off me. He's like, oh, man, that's not good. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's nothing, really. Now, sometimes it, sometimes it is the main thing to take your ID, but they're not yeah. going to take my ID because I went down and got some coffee for somebody. Yeah, they're not exactly. sending me to the hole yeah. for that. But I don't know any better. I'm scared to death because they're bidding off me. <laughs> and then, what is the hole? What do you got to do? The hole is 23. Is, is, uh, Just by yourself. Is by, well, i never been in the hole. Yeah. I've been in whole life situations like that 23 and 1, yeah. but it's way worse. You get no commissary, the only thing you get is cosmetics, and it's just 23 hours a day you're locked in. You locked in your own particular cell, cell, cell by oh. yourself. By yourself. For How 23 long do you hours. How do this? Dude, there's guys, and uh, like we're, <laughs> when we get to Camp Hill, there's yeah, these like things called the Camp Hill Rides. Yeah. It happened back in the late 80s. There's guys that are starters of that riot are still in the hole from that day. Solitary confinement. Yeah, right. from and the there's a story in Greater As for, long as I've been alive, holy there's fuck, in solitary dude. confinement. That's yeah. fucking. The famous nuts. story is there was this biker from Greaterford, okay. was in Greaterford, and uh, he was in the hole for over a year, for a long yeah. time. And when he got released from the hole, he was so messed up. He was, he was just so screwed up in the head that the day he got out, he killed a cop. And uh, he and he says because he was locked in his con- solitary confinement for so long, he might have been actually three years. It was a long time. Okay, but so it what, just it mentally drains you. So what happened when you're what happened when you're in the uh, with the with my Camp ID? Hill. Oh, Camp Hill. Uh, so I go to Camp Hill, find about just real strict. Like I said, I had to be at the yards every day. I'm in Camp Hill short because I'm at short. Yeah, yeah. My time, my minimum is coming up. So I'm in Camp Hill three and a half weeks. Thank God. Nothing crazy happens there. It just causes so, so, out, yeah. so strict. It just, just sucked, you know. And, yeah, Camp Hill was in and out. You know, my old head was on my block, but it was in a different section. But we yeah. went to the yard together. Um, and, the, like I said, the f- food upstate so much better. I, yeah. went, I was right before Thanksgiving. That's right. Uh, but the meals were great. Okay. But so camp, nothing, nothing really. Nothing crazy at Camp Hill at all. But you're, so you're saying know, the county, it's nicer than the county jail. Nicer Gradeford and Camp Hill a lot. Nicer and you can smoke. So and then stuff. you go so then you go to where? Pittsburgh after that? Pittsburgh. How was that? Uh, he wanted to hear about the, the hooch, but we made hooch uh, one night in Gradeford. Like I said. Oh, because you, yeah, you made. The uh, deuce thing. So that's the liquor. People don't sneak liquor in. You make it? Yeah, you make it. Uh, now, the first cell I had on, on the A block, the 23 and 1. Yeah. Now you're locked in 23 hours a day. You're going to think of some shit together. Yeah, Not the one I smoked deuce with. It's yeah. the second one. His name was Little Irish. He was a stand-up comedian. Really? Real funny. He got a 6 to 12 for robbing 7-Elevens with a BB gun. <laughs> <laughs> he was a funny bastard, though. Yeah. He was my bed. He actually, he still writes me to this day. Was he was really? in Somerset. He's still in there. He's actually, he joined the Aryan Brotherhood. Whoa, he's yeah. a white supremacist? White supremacist, man. He got Irish. Now, I think the reason is, is because... When you're in Aryan Brotherhood, their sign is the Three Leaf Clover. Yeah. And if they see you have that on, and the, the game's really big in that area, and they, you come in with a Three Leaf Clover, you're either going to join them or you got to black that out. Really? So I think he, so he had no... So he joined the Aryan Brotherhood over I think a tattoo? No tra- I believe so. It was over the tattoo. Shit. I don't know much about it, but yeah. Or maybe he wanted to join a little bit, I too. I think, sure, because he he's looking at... What's he, he talking about? Years. 
Ah, oh, just ask me how I'm doing, man. I got to write him back. I, I got about four letters from him. You know, every time it's like, oh, another thing too. Ah, fuck, in, I missed a white supremacist story. In 2017, story. you're not allowed to have white supremacists. For, I mean, for obvious reasons, you're not allowed to have white. So he met a guy in jail who was cool. Who now he found out is in the white. He's the one we, brotherhood. We, we made booze when I was uh, the KT story. Is my second celly and that A block and great for performing at the Camp Hill in twenty three and one, and uh, we made he made booze for us. We had to get sugar and on comps you only order one bag of sugar a week because uh, they know you you need sugar to make alcohol yeah. and fruits. We had a lot of fruits in the morning time breakfast once a week. We get uh, some type of fruit. I forget what we had. I think we had apples and oranges. I forget what we so had. So you saved it all up and but, made and, wine and, and, and bread, the yeast, yeah, yeah, the yeah. yeast and bread, and he made it. And you you know, we drank it, it one night, man. And we uh, you got a nice little buzz. You got fucked up. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, that's right. In that's Grayford, awesome. Man, now, it was cool. how how like would the guards be? Would they fuck you? Oh, that, man. Or? Well, he was doing the six to twelve, and I was kind of worried about that because I had a short time. And he was like, "Listen, if anything happens, it's on me." Okay. Like, I got twelve years. I'm looking at. I'm six to twelve years. Who knows what I'm getting out? And so, this dude was robbing Seven Elevens with a BB gun. That's how he got his sentence. <laughs> he actually was a stand-up comedian from Philly. Same as I forget his name. Little he's, he's Irish, the little Irish is his nickname. But uh, he yeah, a, he's in Somerset. He, so you're Phil is saying he had a um, a three leaf clover, and that's like a sign of like one of the white supremacy yeah, gangs. Yeah, yeah. So Aaron if you roll in jail with that, they say either like black that out or join us. And apparently he opted. He's like, well, yeah, fuck he, it, I got the tattoo. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, you I wouldn't him. want to get plucked. Yeah. <laughs> well, they got guns. <laughs> See, that's what's funny. I'm, I wouldn't want to get a tattoo. I'd be like, yeah, this might hurt. Yeah. Well, you guys are out there getting fucking plucked. They got that guns. Terrible. Upstate, you, you can buy a fan, and mm-hmm. what they do is they take the motor out the fan and they make a gun. Uh, Upstate, they got some really nice tattoo uh, machines and yeah. stuff. It's crazy. So, but, what, uh, so then what happened? Camp said, Hill, I said nothing. Yeah. You made alcohol and grade for a Camp Hill. It was three and a half weeks. I yeah. got classified real quick. Right. Thank so God. Fast forward. Real strict. Fast what forward what year were you in Camp Hill? 2014 or th- damn dude i drove past you a couple times did you <laughs> during that three week period i definitely no, 14, drove yeah i think 2014 i definitely drove past you during yeah. that time yeah that's that, crazy so man. i got out there quick, i lived in camp Hill at that time yeah, really yeah, he was there yeah. damn so yeah, what you, you've seen it right yeah yeah they're now like i said that's the classification to jail but i don't know if you know it's got the fence yeah what they have is called a gun line now they have yeah. this in the yard they got they got guards on towers. They'll shoot every you. yard between yard, and there's a line. If you go across that line, they're going to threaten to shoot you. And I seen that happen. A guy tried getting a basketball, mm. crossed the line, and hell broke loose. All the guns came out, cocked. It's like he got game. Them. It was the yeah, pellet. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that yeah. exactly what happened? They got the yeah. shotgun with the pellets in it. So oh, it's not. It's not. It's yeah, going yeah, to like fuck you up, man. Shit. Like ride control and stuff. But oh. yeah, I'll never forget that. Get down. Get back. Dude was trying to get a basketball that was caught uh, on the ball right fence. I would have shot it. I would have shot <laughs> yeah, the basketball. Oh, that, guard, yeah. that guard that tower has been waiting for that. <laughs> yeah, oh, dude, that's yeah. the thing. Like, They're living finally. for that stuff, man. Yeah. They want that stuff. I'm surprised you, know? you didn't catch your little rubber bullet. So that, how Me was too. Pittsburgh then? So then uh, fast forward to Pittsburgh. I go Western so you go State Penitentiary is my home jail. That's why you're classified okay. to go there. And the reason is how they do it is I had to do TC program in our community. And um, like I said, it's four months. So how they do it is whoever's short to the minimum – and I was short to my minimum. My like, minimum was August 25th, 2015. That's, your, I, that's I went, your minimum of two years. That's my minimum of... That's my triple RI minimum. Okay, so unless, 18 months. unless you hit the button. Explain what that is. Hit the button. Oh, hit the max button? Yeah. All right, the max button is... Like I said, my sentence was two to four. Four yeah. years. I did 18 months. I did not hit the max button. The guys hit that max button because they don't want to go out on the streets and be on parole. You know, yeah. and I'll tell you why when you hear my stories in a second. But parole is just a pain in the ass. At the time, I didn't know anything about it. But there's so many guys that said oh, I'm just gonna hit. They call it. They said we're gonna max out. I, I think you came up with the max. That's what it is. It's yeah, called yeah. the max button. They hit the max button. They just say fuck it. I'm not doing my programs. I'm not doing. I'm doing whatever the hell I want to do. So you can like t- say fuck and you, you just to the do guards. what I want. But you're not gonna do too much because you get thrown in the hole. Yeah. And you do not want to be in the. You want to get like one fight or something. But you want. Well, a lot of guys just do, they either fail a year, but you fail a year and you're still going to get to the hole. You're just going to not do your programs. Yeah. You're going to keep failing out your programs. Because TC is a real strict program, depending on what TC you want. Mine was kind of laid back, but yeah. still you had to do stuff. Yeah. Like It was four months, four different phases, and uh, a lot of fun. I never laughed so hard in such a long time being in TC. You're the leader, right? Tony Blair. What it is is 
your first phase, you're just an overseer. Now, the end of my first phase, I got bumped to safety crew leader. You have the senior coordinator, assistant coordinator, safety crew leader, uh, one, two, three, four, and maybe like, I think there's eight spots all together. Yeah. And what it is, is as a therapeutic community, you know, you're in a different part of the jail, away from, you know, in general population. So your own little suite, kind of. I was in, in Western States, one of the, was the oldest running state yeah. prison in Pennsylvania, but this, the TC, it, they actually built new cells and stuff. So you have air yeah. conditioning and, and shit. The air conditioning was beautiful. And uh, I was, you know, I, dude, I went up the ranks quick. I was safety crew leader when I wasn't supposed to be because someone got kicked off. And then my second phase, someone hit the fucking I got max fa- button. Yeah. It was like, Fuck you know, it. what happens so many times. So in wait, TC. And, and just to, so in the TC, it's a therapeutic thing community. and a therapeutic for four community. Months. And is it like kind of like almost like an AA type situation where you're in a you have, in a meeting and you talk about AA and NA is a little different. Yeah, uh, therapeutic community. You could be in it for you know anything for violence too. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it, I mean, same type of. Yeah, it's, it's, of, pretty, it's pretty much to get you like a set schedule. You know, yeah, we yeah. woke up every morning after breakfast. We had our morning meeting, and what he does with people on the on the line, like the you had the assistant coordinator, senior coordinator, and all these, and you had to go out. Now, this, my phase two, I became assistant coordinator, which my title was nothing. I said one thing at the end of the meeting. Yeah, you know, I I had to say how the meeting was going, and every time I said the meeting was going great, I run like I got caught out on it. There's one, a couple of dudes take it. That's the thing. There's some they call them TC Tigers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just take it so serious, man. And yeah. uh, the other things called pull ups, and we have to do a pull up one pull up a week. I gotta tell on you for doing something. If you did something bad, I gotta pull you up. And now everyone's gotta do it. And they got push ups. We had to do one push up and one pull up a week. Uh-huh. So nobody wants to tell on no one. Yeah. You got the TC Tigers that are gonna they're gonna try to get you kicked out. And I've seen guys, <laughs> I've seen guys get stabbed because someone. Got someone kicked out over something so stupid, and he fucked up your parole. Yeah, because you have to yeah. complete it and make parole. It's crazy. Yeah. So most people are kind of cool, and they're just. Had, I had my my selling TC. I actually switched. Thank God I did. It was his name was uh, something Housley. I forget yeah. His name. I fucked with him so bad. It's not even funny. <laughs> he 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 was in the state for a DUI. Okay. He was a little crazy. He did. Um, He's in state prison for a DUI. For, yeah, it was like God. fifth one, right? And, and <laughs> he, he, he did it. Five and he <laughs> and he had like a one to two this time, and he had a he had a one to two again before. So yeah. what were you doing? Different. Now he was a TC. He did TC before, and he was one of those. He had his duty was like his girlfriend was uh, was you know cheating on him to pay rent out there, and like he knew mm. about it. He just he just got like walked. You know, he just like so but he was, was but he was an asshole. He so was, she was such like an asshole. Out. He was an asshole, right? <clears throat> and he was, and, and the worst thing about him was he would pick up cigarette buds Ew. all throughout the state Ew. and bring them back in my cell and re-rat, re-roll them, called re-rolls. Yeah, yeah. And it just his fingers were all disgusting. And yeah. I, don't know, I bought him, with, I bought him with fingers the back at one time, and he, <clears> was, so he wasn't would thankful. He wasn't thankful at all. He was a complete asshole. In yeah. the cell at night, I would just sit there on the top bunk, and I always picked the top bunk because I just felt more comfortable. I felt away from everything. Yeah, a lot of people want the bottom. I like the top. I felt like in the bottom you get dirt going you and stuff. So I would just be laying there on the top bunk and just start saying dumb shit to him. Like, yo, man. Uh, like, yo, your girl, like, just, I, I just, I fucked with him. Like, I was so ruthless to him. He was such an asshole. The was stuff he, I was said he to him, big? Like, like, could you have fucked him up? If- we're about the same size. I definitely right. would have took him. It so definitely would have been a little tussle. Was making fun of him for his girlfriend being a whore? Everything, whore, just, I'm trying to think of stuff I made fun of him for, man. But he took TC so serious. Yeah. And he was a TC Tiger that I was getting, I went from safety crew leader towards the end of phase one, which is unheard of. You, you, can't, be, you, can't, you can't be on the line. Then, I, then we get, and everyone votes. Yeah. Now I become assistant coordinator and he doesn't even get on the line yet. Yeah, and he's yeah. so pissed off, right? Yeah. Now I start abusing my authority. Now, <laughs> All right. now yeah. I don't start abusing my authority until I get to, and then I go from assistant to senior coordinator. That's the highest yeah. you can he go. Has some power now. Because once you get to assistant, you only can go to senior. And I, I'm surprised I even got it. Yeah. But I got voted because I was cool, man. Because when you're assistant and senior, your door's never locked, only for count. Yeah. So I was walking around the block. I would, I would pass stuff for people. I never pull people up. I, everything you know, I ran the place real good. Yeah. So, but he, I'm, I used to be like, "Hell, you go lock in right now." <laughs> <laughs> when the guards were around and stuff, I remember one time, 
because I was loud out. And yeah. everyone had to lock in. And he was getting coffee. He was such a moosh, too. And he was so bad with it. And he would never say thank you. And it was yeah. just like, I bought so lock him down. Every time, every time I feel bad for him, I'd give him a coffee. But I did it so I could fuck with him more. <laughs> I remember one time, man, I think he was, getting, he was supposed to come in. And I shut his door. And he didn't see me shut his door. And everyone's going in. And it was time to lock down. TC, when it's time to lock down, you had to lock the fuck down. You're going to get in trouble, right? <laughs> he goes to his door and he can't open it. Housley, what the hell are you doing, Housley? Lock in right now. <laughs> and he will, f- <laughs> fuck you, Rich. You don't tell me what to do. I'm like, Housley, you better lock in or I'm going to pull your ass up, man. <laughs> you ain't. And, dude, I used to do that shit to him all the time, dude. Like, I just abused my authority with him. And everyone loved it. Everyone used to be like, yo, Phil, please fuck with Housley. <laughs> no, Lynch, 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 do me a favor. Please fuck with Housley right now. Please. i never forget. Matthew Willis always do it to me. Lynch, I'm having a real bad day, man. Do me a favor. Like, yeah, what's up, man? Can you please fuck with Housley? <laughs> awesome. I would just kill him, man. And oh. he deserved he was an asshole. But as I said, every now and then I'll feel bad. I'll give him tobacco or some coffee. Yeah. But that's my payment for me to fuck with him as much as I want. <laughs> so, and there was another funny guy, Tony Bullia. He was funny as hell. He was so dumb, but he was so funny. And uh, after every meeting, when I was senior coordinator, I had to do a, a quote. I had to say some. And everyone had to say down the line. When you were done doing your speech, you had to say like a daily quote. Like, I don't know, like, keep, if it's working, then keep working it. And like, you know, stuff yeah, will yeah, cover yeah. you later, right? Yeah. Now, my aunt sent me these, I didn't even ask her to. She just sent me these, like, these quotes that just keep my spirit up and stuff. Yeah. The one, I oh got, dude, I got to remember this, man. It was so stupid, but it was so funny. <laughs> and it was like, does everyone know? It was like something like this. I, I asked a question, a dumb question. And then, and I would say the answer was like, I, I can't forget what it was. It's like, you know, there's no I in team or there's something like that. Yeah, I feel, yeah. I'll think of what it was, yeah, yeah. but I would use it. It's like a generic. Now, I use it every time, pretty much almost every time. And everyone's getting sick and tired of it and stuff. But uh, <laughs> so the one time I used it, they're like, you can't use it no more. The, 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 the counselors that ran the group, they were gone one time and I used it. And I just, I couldn't say it. I was laughing and everyone was cracking up. <laughs> and it was stuff like that. But when I first said it to Bulia, and like I said, he was dumb. He was not very educated. Yeah. He was just a funny little Italian kid, a little short motherfucking yeah. funny shit. I remember when I said the quote to him, right? And I, and I stood up and I knew it was going to be a funny quote because it was so dumb. Like the question and the answer. And then I said the question to him, right? Now, I'll never forget it. Now, he's looking at me like this. And when I said the, when I asked him the question, he was just, <laughs> and, I, and I said the answer. He was, and he took it. You saw him register. He yeah, took yeah, like yeah. a little bit to register, and he put a, like a big smile. And he got it, dude. I lost it, dude. I literally went back to my cell and I laughed out loud for an hour straight. Everyone's telling me to shut up. And I just kept thinking if his his dumb little face, Figured and, and it he out. just like figuring out. And just, dude, it was the dude. I literally, I was worn, man. Oh, but man. I, that's how TC was. Yeah. It was like you had to pull people up, you had to tell them people for dumb stuff. You had to think so you just crushed Housley the whole time. Was, I crushed Housley left and right, <laughs> killed, made fun of him, and uh-huh. me and Bully had bit it off each other. We totally each other for dumb stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it was just, I wish I And this was all at uh, Western, Western State Penitentiary. And Western State Penitentiary is the my, my home building jail. in Pittsburgh. Western right? is, is a prison in. Uh, What's the say penitentiary? Yeah, is that the one we were talking about? That's yeah, just that, like, that, was, that was my home jail. How many now, stories is that thing? How tall is that? That's like Western State Penitentiary. Uh, this not is, Western Penitentiary has has a wall. They call it the wall. Oh, okay, no, like I was, for, which, which one's the one? That's in, the county, Allegheny County. That's Allegheny County. That's like eight stories. Okay. And I can yeah, see yeah, that yeah. It was cool because when I was in TC, I was in the new section, and the actual the cells were stories, like the yeah. the buildings to it. Yeah, and even the the old side was too. Yeah, it, it was five tiers up the old side. And uh, and you actually can see the bridges. See like a window you can look out. Uh, not in the regular population. And like I said, we had to walk up the steps to get to the TC block. Yeah. And the jail. So once you got to a certain level, you could see over most. You could hey, see wow. over the wall. Nice. So what happened after TC? So I get done TC, and then they had a thing called recovery block, which is like you're still in air condition. I had four months ago on my sentence. Yeah. I haven't even seen parole yet. And every senior and assistant coordinator got to go to. The recovery block. But I remember the, the guards, the one guard was real big TC dude. And he didn't like me because I did, I did, I did, I fucked around. I did telling people and everyone still voted me to be in. Yeah. He wouldn't let me go on recovery block right away. 
He said, you know, I, I was supposed to go right through the club. Like, I can send the general population. You know, you hear all the stories about general population. You know, that's where, like, all the shit goes down, all the gangs are. Yeah. No AC. I was looking at this. I got <laughs> April 420 is when I graduated TC. So I'm looking at summer with no yeah. AC. Oh, fuck. So I'm like, you know, and uh. I'm, like, so I'm hearing all these crazy stories, how bad all the gangs, all the violence are over there. Like, what type of stories? Do you have any? Stabbings. Uh, yeah. A lot of stabbings. How many a lot stabbings of fights. have you seen? Uh I seen up close one, uh, far away like I'm gonna say two or three like far okay. away ones, but up close in the showers in Western State Ugh. both sides. I seen a close. Oh, you one. were in the shower while someone got fucking. Stabbed? Yeah, with the showers in in Western State uh, were it was different again. Graterford quick with group showers was when he got to Graterford there was uh one two three four it was eight showers on the block but it was a big ass room now when you're in regular population you got that to yourself because you would be out for two hours for yard and stuff but i was in the yellow jumpsuit they would march us all down i had a whole tier of i want to say there was 50 guys that had yeah. to take showers and they'll lock like 10 to 12 of us in a door they'll lock the door for like 15 minutes and there's all shower and we all got down to our way tight yeah and everyone I, was, I always wondered how the fuck it was possible to get that, like, to get fucking raped in the shower. How how do they not have a fucking guard? Well, it all there to, to fucking stop that shit. See, now the raping is not like it used to be. Okay, guys that get raped are the ones that want it. Yeah, there's a guy well, guys and like, well, um, yeah. So they want to get raped, or they're just in there. There's guys that sell their. Oh, they just want to get. When fucked. I went to when I went to general population in Western, there was a guy there selling his ass and his mouth. Okay. And uh, no hand, no hand, just uh, ass and mouth. Nice. I'm sure he did hand. <laughs> he but, uh, might hand for a fucking yeah, can no, of soup. Selling a mouth and a vest, no one's really buying a hand. You get I guess, some right? fucking no, chichi or whatever. That's you a get lot. It. That's it a was butt. Like, I think it was two kites for a blowjob. What's a kite? A kite is is tobacco. It's uh, it's actually menthol tobacco. Yeah. Is <clears> you get a pouch, you get a thing of uh, so wraps, how many cigarettes? Joint wraps is thirty two. Uh, 32 uh, papers. So, okay. When you so got a package, you got 32 papers. blowing dudes for, for like two three price. packs of for fucking five mentals. Bucks, street dollars, five dollars. Uh, wow. So what do you yeah. do with that? And then you save up the packs and trade them for other stuff? Yeah, kite was the currency in jail. Now you can buy a big bag of uh, bugler or kite, or any, but everyone bought the little things for 250 and yeah. they're just currency. So what if, what if you get out and you have all this tobacco? What do you do with it? Uh, you could, you could, someone could send you mo- your people money you know, so uh, you lot, can sell it, to you them. Sell yeah, it like yeah. that. But okay. I, 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 I use my kites. I will buy, um, you know, kitchen food, extra kitchen food, chicken patty day. Always had like four extra patties. That's awesome. Nice. You know, that was a big thing. Uh, Did you have an ice, ice connect? I had ice connect, which was unheard of because there's only, <laughs> the only time you get the ice was in the hole. The guys that worked in the hole and the whole jail was only, I think a total of five guys that worked. So in, all your beverages didn't have so ice. So my one guy, yeah, no one had ice. Not even, not Shit. even a chow hall. He just had water, right? The guy I was in TC with, man, uh, never forget, man, what's his name, man? But uh, he always be like, hey, what, what's up? I, what was, I'll think of his name, but I would say, what's up with his name? Oh, man, you already know. Every time he would do that, he, he was, uh, some ice. He, was um, he was a white <laughs> Egyptian, Egyptian guy. Okay. You know, like, uh, no, what's that? And like, what was Brad Pitt in, the, in that movie with uh, oh, Snatch? Oh, Pikey. gypsy! Like, he's he's a gypsy. gypsy was a gypsy. Uh, gypsy. Yeah. <laughs> he had tattoo. He did like thirty. He had. A, he has. A, he has actually has a body in prison. Damn. Got, yeah, he did like. I think it was like fifteen years. He got a, caught a body in prison. Fuck. Damn. They would have beat it and not get an and additional this is murder your buddy? charge. My buddy, man. He was, Damn. He was. He he came on the. How'd on you establish the, the ice trade with him? Well, me and him were on TC together, and I was in phase three when he was in phase one. Uh-huh. You know, I took care of him. You know, yeah. Told you know. And then we got real close. Uh, we played basketball together. And when we were in TC, we got gym. We actually went to the gym uh, one hour every Saturday. And we played ball together. And yeah. I was hooping. And I got, How were those like, games? Great, man. Were I, people I, good? I, some, some of the best basketball I ever played in my life okay. I was in prison. Did I got my game back. Did people suck play? Yeah, well, you, had, you had two different – well, the main yard, you had a full court and a half court. Okay. So you had like the guys that you had the good games at the half court. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, the good games at the like full the court. Lie. Like the yeah, guys yeah, that can like play are on the yeah, fucking like court. There's, there's shitty there's, people. There's, there's, there's Asians, Asians around. Asians, around yeah, yeah it's it's exactly how it was, man. But yeah, I bought my ass off, man. But uh, yeah, this guy had ice. He went. He was one of the works at the hole, and I would buy him a pack a thing of juice for like two bucks every week. Uh-huh. Powder juice. Uh, it was like high C. It was awesome. Yeah. And every night I got a cup of ice. Nice. It was, so you could was, drink a cold soda every night. It was so Ooh. not soda, a juice. Oh, you drank and cold you, juice. You could buy a thing called soda tickets and, uh, and ice cream tickets. And every Wednesday, Western State Penitentiary, 
they would bring out this cart. These two guys, the life was carrying these carts, and one car had all ice cream. And for one one ticket, you can get like an ice cream bar, and for four tickets, you get like a little pint, like a little half pint yeah, of ice yeah. cream or full pint. Damn, and God. Then for, and for one I'd ticket, a soda ticket dick for ice cream, dude. a soda <laughs> ticket, man. I had it every dude. Once do I you, found out about them, dude, I every night I got every since, Wednesday. Since you've been out, have you like? Do you see people? Taking that shit, like, is it funny to see how much everybody takes that shit for granted? Oh, oh my god, like, it's gotta you know, be crazy. Uh, ice, man, ice was like, dude, coming back from yard every night and having that cup of ice, yeah, was so good, especially in the summertime. No yeah. air conditioning, was that? Oh god, like, oh my god, dude, it was like heaven on earth, and uh. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'll, I'll give you a kite, whatever you want, man. But now, it's still about, thing I, I'd like to go back to that guy who was selling his butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? What? Like, did everyone fucking shit uh, most, on him? Like, was no, he like zero respect in there, or like? Because he was he was giving ass to lifers and stuff, so no one. And he like said, he did his thing. Yeah. You know, if you're into, it, you're into it. If you're not, you're not. But he didn't bother anybody else. His ass was for sale. He wasn't taking ass because. He could have taken nobody's ass and was giving it up. Yeah. And he liked that. And that's the yeah, thing yeah, with yeah. prison these days. There's so many people. There's so, so many. It's, it, it's bigger scale now. Like, I went to state prison. Back in the 70s, I probably would not stay prison yeah. for the most part. You know? But now there's yeah. so many people in it now. You got guys that, you know, you got, got a gay, guy, a lot of gay, gay guys. Dudes, yeah. and, and they're, a lot of guys are willing to do that and use it as payments. You know? But, uh Phew. Yeah, like I think so ha- I think Halsey was on the like, low. That's cool. He's letting lifers fuck him in the ass. But he was getting money. Yeah, yeah. But he was getting money and stuff. But he was getting. But uh, if no one like people, yeah, yeah, yeah. did associate with him. Like I would never play cards with him. I would never be seen in his presence. <laughs> and it's good to know that type of stuff. And another big thing when you go to prison, state prison, is you have your your paper of what your charge was. You know, and every time you get in a cell, you gotta have that ready because everyone wants to see what you're in here for. Now, if you're a toucher, you're a rapist. You're getting fucked with like no other. And ninety percent of the time, those guys uh, clock out the PC protective custody. You know, I seen it happen so many times. When I was in TC, there was a toucher, a kitty toucher. Yeah, and, and they demand their paperwork. Ten, he had a, seven and a half to fifteen years, and he was uh, he had to do TC to make parole. He was already in his tenth year. He came from a different prison to do TC. Western was a big TC. They yeah, new buildings and stuff. And uh, I didn't find out till like. A couple of weeks after being in TC with them, someone told me, and then my boy Willis, they would just tell me, "Fuck with." He was always hanging out with the dude. And when I pulled Willis aside, and you want to let someone know that? So, do you know that this dude's a toucher? And just let yeah. you know, you know, you don't want to be associated with him. And, yeah. and he stopped that right away, you know. And no one, like I said, that guy had over ten years in, and I'm sure he got. I know he got fucked with every day, nonstop. Yeah. You know, and Damn. me, him, and was had it at one point. You but, almost uh, fought. You almost well, like. I would say I was an asshole. I was a senior coordinator. And I did what yeah. I wanted. I gave people the jobs I wanted to do. Yeah. And the phone list was a big thing when TC, because we had three phones. And every night when we had, you either had yard, every other night we had a uh, called block out. We go out to the block. If you didn't want to go to yard, you could stay in and you could sign up for the phone. You get 15 minutes. It was three slots for each phone every night. And uh, so I was in charge of giving people jobs and stuff. And, he kept asking me he wanted to do some. I was like, don't talk to me. You know, I just said, yeah, yeah. stay the fuck away from me. So one time, I, the phone job was a pain in the fucking ass. Yeah. You know? Because everyone's like, wants to get extra time. It's yeah, just a yeah. Hassle. So you got to cut people off and talking to yeah, like their wife and shit. So I give the job to him. It's yeah. <laughs> mad. If it's toucher, dude, he, that's huh? what he gets. He's going to get help. So wait, now, the toucher, like, when you say fuck with him, like, are you talking beating his ass, like fucking him up? Or are you uh, talking like... I believe like... He's, he's, he did when he got the general population. I believe it was a couple dudes rained down on him. And yeah. gave him a good beating and stuff. I know they took his TV. You know, they gave him hell. You know? Yeah. You're getting hell on there, man, when you're, uh, if you don't go to PC. And I don't know, I don't know what happens when you have to do a program and you go into protective custody. Yeah. I don't know what happens with parole. Do you have to max out? I'm not sure. Yeah. But I know he came from a different jail to do TC. So he might have been in protective t- custody at his other jail the whole time. Yes, you don't know. Yeah. He, he was trying to be slick, came in on yeah. the radar. And someone found out, because he came in around the time I came in, too, because he was on the block before I went to TC, and I think he got, no one knew about it at that time, but I think it was his selling in TC that managed paperwork. So, you, yeah. you talk to the dude, and was like, what the fuck are you in here for? <laughs> you know right away. You know, he's like childish tattoos, you know, the old prison tattoos, like yeah. Bart Sisson, like dumb shit, like, yo, let me, uh, let me see, lure those kitties, let me see yeah, your papers, yeah, you know? I want to get rid of the child cartoons. Yeah. Like, nobody asked me for my papers. 
you yeah. know, just close. So if, you, if, you, if you're a weirdo, he had like, a Bart Simpson yeah, tattoo. He had a Bart Simpson tattoo. Oh, was, did you go see Brian Callen? No, uh, I'm not hating that. on it, but it was plucked and was right here. Okay, it was, he had a Bart. It was he had a funny. plucked Bart. Plucked, yeah, it was a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> So what? Ha- so then you got out of there. So what happened really after that? I went to Western, like I said, I went to population. Yeah. You know, and I get there and I, I find out it's not as bad as even though there's no air conditioning. The cells are so goddamn small. Yeah. You walk in, I can almost go like this, touch each side. Oh. And, and you're bat- with another guy. Better than the phone with an older old head. Ugh. Fucking had such a mouth on him, but he was so far. I would get him wild out. He was just like <laughs> hello, racist. Just you know, I just say, yo, this bullshit. You keep getting these parole hits. He got parole hits for dumb reasons. Yeah. But he was in there for, it, but. I get there, I get a custom, and then like a week later, they're asking me to go to recovery block. Yeah. And, you know, I pretty much said, fuck off, I ain't going there. Yeah. To yeah. that guard, because yeah. he should have sent me there from the beginning. Yeah, exactly. And everyone is unheard of to put that shit down, because I'm, I'm looking at air conditioning, better times to take showers, because the showers are single showers over the TC block. Yeah. When you go to general population, you have five tiers, but only four of them were open. So the first two tiers was a row of showers, and Third and fourth tier was a row of showers. So you opted for group shower? I Well, the showers, these were it was, <laughs> with all stalls yeah, with yeah. a half a door. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it sucks. Stay in front of your mic, yeah. We only had showers in the morning time during the second yard. Yeah. And right before dinner. And they would call out, you know, the four first or three first. And you had to run to get a shower because it was, it was only like, I guess there was like 15 showers. Uh-huh. And you, so many people on the block. So you had to run to it. You don't want to be late for dinner. Gotcha. Just yeah, that makes sense. But I was, I was near the end. So, because I had to take a shower every day because I played basketball every afternoon. Yeah. I always ran and got there right away, got in the shower, and that's where I saw the stabbing go down because there's no yeah. cameras in the showers. Yeah. That makes sense. You're allowed so, to. You know, the stabbing so what, went down. So, what, you got out of there then. Nothing they probably there. should what, be allowed to. That's what, think. I, that's what I seen swords. I was telling Matt the other day, seeing guys, the, the knives they come up with is unbelievable in prison. The yeah. ideas you have to make a weapon yeah. for yourself. I seen a guy have a fucking shank this big. It was a fucking it's about, so like three feet long. Three feet. What did you, no, what'd you dude, make it, it out of? Uh, p- pipe. That one was made out of. It was. It was a piece of pipe yeah. from the construction from the maintenance crew, but it had a knife on the end. It had a. It was a piece of metal. It was a piece of like steel. Yeah. And he's just sharpening the shit out of it, man. It <laughs> what was, the fuck was he doing with that, dude? This dude, right? He comes in on a pro violation on a new charge of five to ten. And yeah. he had to do like he had two and a half or five originally, and he had like two years left, right? Two so years left, and he's he using had, a fucking sword. He had to finish his two years and then roll over on a new number and start his five to ten. All right, and he gets run down and before he even when he when he finally comes back on a pro violation, gets him in Browns at, at Western State after two months of being in there. When he's looking at you got to finish his two years and then start another five to ten. Yeah. They run down. They find him. They find the sword on him. Oh. He got sent to the hall. Pretty much, that dude's not making pro anytime soon. Oh. Jesus Christ! But uh, yeah, and everything. Went, I played basketball every day, man. What, uh, was great. what kind of drugs are people doing in jail? It's a boxing. What uh, else? K two. Then weren't you saying they snort antidepressants too? Yeah. Um, no, Neurotin is it's kind of like a pain pill that's almost narcotic or not. Yeah. And they would take. And it's hard, it's hard to get subscribed to it now in jail, but everyone was getting them. And they come in, I think, like, one milligram, 100 milligrams, 200 milligrams, 400 milligrams, 800 milligrams. And the most your body could take is 3,200, but it gets you high all day. You're speeding around, running around like a maniac. What is so this guys, then? Did you say people were this is called ner- This is called Neurotin. Okay. They just take, they snort that too, but Wellbutrin. Wellbutrin. It's uh, antidepressant. Slash anti anxiety medication, and it gives you they call it jailhouse coke. It's real popular now. Yeah, a lot of people don't actually subscribe to it no more because of this reason, and they snort it and they get a coke high for ten minutes. Jesus. Now, when they when they prescribe you, like say you have a prescription for antidepressants, do they just give you a fucking pill bottle full? Yeah, you got to get you it. You got to go to the, the med cart in the morning. Yeah, and all right. I never got meds upstate, but uh, you go in the morning time. <clears throat> Some people have special meds. They go in the afternoon, okay. and you go at night. There's uh, like Tylenol and stuff. There's, yeah, certain, yeah. there's certain prescriptions that you're able to you get take, take it back to your cell. Yeah. And it's a bubble pack, and you only could get it refilled. Say there's like 28 in there, so they know the month's over. You can yeah, go get yeah. it filled. But stuff like that, and at certain antidepressants. And Once that, that was a hustle for guys. Some guys would get prescribed that stuff, and they didn't need it, so they could sell it. Like, well, yeah. Bruchins was a big one. Okay. They would get subscribed to it, and they go sell yeah, yeah. it. How about the... How about that stabbing? That stabbing, dude, it was, um, 
The dude, do you care the, if you talk about that? Absolutely not, man. The dude right. thought he was coming for a fist fight, but he got poked the fuck up. Okay. It, was gang, it was gang related. It was, uh, no, in Western State, they had a, a Philly gang and they had a Pittsburgh gang. And they were always the fighting. and the Flyers. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> they were always fighting each other, man. Yeah. It was brutal. And, uh, yeah, the dude came in. It was a Philly dude that stabbed him the fuck up, man. It came in. And it was supposed to be fists on fists. And... Dude came in, came out, shacked behind him, and just fucking. Wait, how the fuck did he get a knife right in, in there? Right on the side in there. Oh, a shank. They make shanks. Yeah, I know. How did he get yeah. a shank in there? Shank I mean, where? into the shower. Oh, the shower is just like anybody can walk in. Like when you you're walk shower in time, fully clothed. When you're when your population, you have when you walk into the shower cage, is is real long, and you have a little bit of space this long. And you have a wall of showers. Okay. Half doors. Yeah. So everyone and there's a bench. So everyone's sitting there waiting for the next because they get filled up right away. So you send them waiting for your turn, and then you come in and uh, the guy stabbed him. The guy came in, for, and the reason they fought in there because there's no cameras. So there's no cameras, and it was like a scheduled fight. They were like, scheduled right, fight. We're gonna fucking yep. fight. That's what happens a lot. And, and then he fucking what? He stabbed him in the side a couple stabbed times. Him, yeah, kept going right here in the <laughs> side. Yeah. And, uh, oh, was that guy fucking sc- obviously screaming? Oh, screaming, man. And, uh, you know, they gave the knife to somebody else, ran it off, and it was blood everywhere. And uh, I don't know what happened. I know see, somebody went to the hole, and it might not have been the guy that did the stabbing. It was, yeah. someone, it was like, it was, so it's like, you and then when that shit happens, would they come to you and be like, who did it? Or do they not nah, even bother? No one, they don't even bother. They, they don't even bother. They know you're not going to get nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? and there's, but there's guys that get volunteer information, they'll just do it. You know, so you there's a lot of rats, on underground rats in jail. Sure. They just do it just to get on the guard side God and stuff. God damn. That's Thinking us. they're going to make pro, even though they're not. You know, dumb yeah. stuff. But yeah, Western Maine, like I got a general population. I just, you know, I played basketball every day. I stayed out of, you know, the bullshit. Uh, that's did, all I did. I played so basketball, was, came back and watched my TV. Did they so, approach you at yeah, all to TV. get involved with the bullshit? Were they like- uh, the big gang was called DMI, Dead Maine Incorporated, which originated in Baltimore. And they had majority white. It was one or two black guys, but a guy didn't mention to me. Guy was real cool with TC with him. Was real cool with him. I said, "Listen, if I ever want to get affiliated with DMI, I can become a prospect. And in order to get affiliated with DMI, you first get in, and you have to fucking beat somebody up. You have to, yeah, you know. And I know, a dude, two dudes, the dude that asked me it was a, his friend was becoming a prospect. And I remember in the fight he ran down, and some dude sell and beat the shit out of him, and uh. And were they DMI and Western State? They were the biggest gang. Well, you had the two one fives, the Pittsburgh gang, uh, your Bloods, Crips, and DMI. The ones that ran, the, they controlled the drugs in Western State Penitentiary. Mm-hmm. They, there was, that's the, the gang. Sure, you want to put this out? <laughs> this is a uh... yeah. I mean, I don't think no one's. I mean, it could be different now. Western State's closed. Yeah, all right. So good. they closed that down. So what was what was the? So you got out of there, and then you went to the parole violator centers. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I you made parole. Trouble. I was twenty fifth, you know, <laughs> and I can't do parole. Yeah. Um, I I go. I'm out for a year. I do good for a year, and then I get my second dirty urine, and then I also got like a curfew violation. Yeah, yeah. I got, uh, so these places, I went. Up, I went and visited you the one time. It's like a, they're just warehouses in like North Philly that they just chuck like 14 dudes in a room. Is oh that, well, no. Kentuck is is a big bunker area. Yeah. And you got 60 to 70 dudes in a big. Open space with bunk yeah. beds and bunk beds. you have four yeah, half walls. So you have a half wall with four entrances, and each one had about eighteen, had about nine to ten bunks. So each one you have four of them. Yeah. So like, now this a lot is of guys, you're out of Western. You're State. out of Western. Yeah. Not you're out of year. Western. My first PV hit. You've I been went out to for a year. I've been out for a year. You got a parole my, violation, and now you're at a fucking I went to warehouse well, bunk dude. bed. Be from the PV Slumber center. Party. Yeah, <laughs> they had the state-run <laughs> rehabs. I actually went to a place called Self Help. If you're a yeah. state inmate, you go there. Uh-huh. And uh, what it was, if you're, it was actually a regular rehab, but if you, they also had a halfway house for state inmates. Yeah. And I, I was with the state inmates, and I would walk over every day to the rehab side, and it would be, it'd just be regular people from the street. Not everyone was on parole and stuff. And I actually got in a fight there with these two Puerto Rican dudes that weren't <laughs> that weren't state inmates or not. They just fucking. We got I got in a fight with two of those dudes. You know, I got broken up. I got swung on. I swung on them. And then I actually, since I was staying there, mate, and halfway, why, I, I wait, got. Why'd you guys fight? And you, dude, it was. To, oh, trying to take my money. That was it. I was ah, trying to get money. Porter. Class <laughs> money. Yeah, trying to take my cash out of my pocket and stuff. I really? said something. You know, they said something back. You know, then just got real confrontational speaking. Yeah. And then before you know, it, you know, swinging on each yeah. other. Uh, I get kicked the fuck out. I get sent to Luzerne Treatment Center, which is really a PV center. 
And that shit was hell. I was there, did six yard days there. Was that, that was the place that you, that was like they thought you were selling drugs through Amazon? We'll get, we, that's my first PV hit. And okay. I did four PV hits I'm not proud of. So I do <laughs> Any PV I, hits you are proud of? <laughs> no. no. Right, <laughs> I did, you know, I did, I did self-help for 12 days. Yeah. That's kind of like my grade for a bit. And then I went to Luzerne and completed that the first time. Was out for two months. Next second, sorry, second, <laughs> second PV hit, right? Second PV hit. This time they sent me to Graterford first. I'm at Graterford for 12 days. So now you're back at Graterford. I'm at Graterford for fucking 12 so days. So Graterford, Camp Hill, Western State, some other shit. Now you're back at Graterford. I'm back at Graterford. For 12 uh, days. For 12 days. And uh, then I guess sent to my first PV center, Kintock, where you visit me. Yeah, that's where I got in trouble that's for got, bringing you Newports. Well, I mean, I tried to slide we got off on it. And we they pulled it. kicked me out. We pulled it off, though. <laughs> Fuck. He smuggled. He got into me. I, I mean, you know, the cigarette. Nice. Right, a dollar yeah. cigarette in there. Well, I could have just put them through. I could, the, the lady's like, you could have just gave them to me. Yeah, but I wanted, I would have had to wait till like Monday to get them. True. And the block was hot. Yeah, I was right. I, need, I needed some coins, man. You were down big time. called a jail? Or Newport's called uh, a jail? Cadillacs. 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 Dude. I could have guessed that. Because on commissary, <laughs> at, like in Western State, how I survived a lot of stuff was I had, I always bought, one, I, I, my max was $75 for commissary, and I maxed out every week. Yeah. And I would buy a pack of Newports, and with that, you gold. You can get anything you wanted. One Newport, like, it was whatever you wanted. It's like, it's yeah. dumb shit, you know? And my, my, young, my real young boy, John McNally, uh-huh. I still talk to him this day, man. He was my young boy that rode this. He used to do that. I would give him all my, I took care of him. Yeah. Did all the chichis. He used to do that. would split somebody's wig for me in a heartbeat if I asked him to. Because you giving him Cadillacs. I would give him Cadillacs. I gave him kite I, every we cooked every we cooked once a week yeah and i would give him you know we, we cooked you know we do pack of chili every, every, we had yeah. a big every week the tuna, the tuna steak and thigh sauce was the biggest uh you had like mackerel tuna and pouches yeah and how'd you were, cook this shit uh they were just you know well the cook with hot water okay yeah. you know, when you cook it see i wasn't too big of a you know we had a thing called a stinger which is a cord you cut off. You cut the end of the one cord. It's an extension cord yeah. for your TV and stuff. But you cut it off. You put pieces of metal in it. And you put it in water. And it heats your water up. Oh what you did, you, get, you put salt in, 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 like a, in like a container. Right? And then you put, the, you put the, the stinger in. But you get a separate bag of water. You get like an old coffee bag. Put that in water. Put that in that water. Yeah, and put the stinger in, and it heats up the water every morning. That's how I made my coffee. So I wasn't like I could walk down. And, <laughs> I could have walked to the cow hall and be like, "I'm ready for my coffee this morning," you know. Yeah, yeah. So I I woke up around like I guess a lot of times I didn't go to morning yard. You know, I'd wake up like eight thirty, take my shit, you know, have my cigarette and steam and you sting know, up, stung dude. up some coffee, and sting some fucking <laughs> yeah. coffee up. Where are we yeah. at on time? Oh, we're only almost like around a two hour, right, we're nice. at hour forty. What do you What do you think? You got anything fucking? Oh, uh, PV Center, bro. Wild this is where it goes at, right? All right. PV Center is one like the wife's friends tried to get me to join the gang. They wanted me to be hell in the yeah. corner with them. Yeah, you know, I said hell no. And they just hated on me for that. I bumped. I did. Well, how long th- were you going to be there? Sixty plus days. Two so to three months. Why the fuck would you join the fucking white well, supremacists for you're, sixty you're, days? You're in this room, right? Oh, that big ass bunk, bunk room. Right? Yeah, had, all right. I've so seen many, those. A lot of gangs. Though. You had two one five. Yeah. You had. Crips, you had Bloods, you had you know, all the black dudes, you had the Puerto Ricans. The black dudes are a gang. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, Muslims. You, mean, you yeah, Muslims. Yeah. Muslims. Muslims. Yeah. Puerto Ricans. I was solo. I was in no hey, gang. Alone but wolf, I fucked dude. with everyone, though. I was cool with the Puerto yeah. Ricans. I was real tight with the Puerto Ricans about me. I was a little poppy. <laughs> <laughs> but they were real cool with me. And so uh, I just would have, I would have, I would have moved back with the white dudes in the corner. I'm yeah. Like, I was fine where I'm at. I'm not, I'm not. You know, yeah, I'm affiliated with you guys. White supremacist you know, everyone hate on you guys, and all the cops are on you. You get shook down all the time. Yeah, and um, yeah, they were just haters. I Man, I didn't, you know, I didn't do it. They were just, but I, I had p- protection in a way, which I did like nothing. I paid for nothing like that, but just like I fucked with every group that no one like. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I yeah, never yeah, got yeah. messed because I, you know, I was cool so with everyone. What, what happened with the whole Amazon thing? Why did they just flash so forward? I to go that? to Kintock for my second PV hit. Third PV hit, I go to Coleman Hall, I do Great for it again, and I do Coleman Hall. <laughs> this time the PV time goes down from sixty days to thirty days. Okay. So I do thirty four. I do twelve days in Great for it again, thirty four days. Okay. Now we're talking about my fourth PV hit, my fourth and final last PV hit. I go Graveford for again twelve days, and I go back to Luzerne. Yeah. You know, I'm looking at to do like sixty plus days in there, 
And this is when all hell breaks loose. Wait, do you walk in? Are you like, are you like fucking Norm from Cheers at Greater Fred? You walk <laughs> in, they're like, oh, I, hey, I knew the one. What up? This is my second time in a year I've been back to Luzerne. Well, Greater Fred, it, it got to that point on the third time there, sorry, the, the last and final time there, I knew how to sign out. Yeah. And no one knew how to sign out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guards, you know how to sign out? They go, take everyone around the jail. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. So, yeah, here we go. We're going to go down to parole sign here, you know, go to yeah. medical. You, you, when you sign, when you leave jail, when you're about to leave, you know, be discharged or leave, whatever, the day before you have to go to, you get to get signed out. You have to go to like every, like to the library. Yeah, yeah. You go to all these different places. So my fourth hit was my most recent one. I got out uh, the end of August, I believe. And, uh, you know, this, now this is, these places are worse than jail. It's, you don't get commissary. You depend on where you're at. Kent Taco is probably the best one. You know, you get three meals a day, and the same food they gave us at George Hill Community uh, Delaware County Prison is the same food we got at Coleman yeah. Hole in Luzerne. This is whoever is privately owned. I was telling you, the same company that owns them owns you know okay. these places. So I'm at Luzerne, and all hell breaks loose. It's the worst bid. Everyone will tell you this is the worst bid yeah. I ever did. It's just it's horrible, man. I can't explain it. You're just locked in this small little room. We're supposed to get three yards a day. They barely give us one yard a day. We were starving. They took away our ordering out. We were we used to be able to get forty dollars in cash when I first went. There used to be seventy five. Now it's down to forty dollars a week like in cash. Pizza on Saturday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday Damn, ordered out pizza. Sick. They took that Damn. away from us, right? Oh, they took up. away our money. I'm operating on about now, forty dollars a week. <laughs> I understand that stuff. Somebody was hating on me, you know, because I had I was I was buying cigarettes and selling cigarettes in there, and I was skinning a Newport for five dollars and making ten dollars off it. Nice. And I was really doing the selling. You know, I had the money in there. I would put money on uh, someone else's books. So I would give him 10 bucks, and I would get 30 because we only get 40 bucks a week in cash. So, yeah. I, had, so I had all the cash. So you had like Swiss yeah. bank so accounts was, basically exactly. with had, other people. So I had all the money. I was selling cigarettes. And like, you know, this time this is my fourth bid, fourth PV bid. Yeah. You know, I know the game. You know, I'm yeah. not being fucked with, you know. And. It was just hell. They took away everything. Someone said that I was smuggling drugs in through Amazon. <laughs> through Amazon. Through Amazon. Com. Now we go, like drones. The only way. When you first get there, you you allowed a seventy two hour drop off. Once you get that drop off, and the last Friday of each month and beginning Friday of each month, you allowed another drop off. So you can only but order in, through between, Amazon. You, if you want to get anything, coffee, yeah, uh, cosmetics, That's dude. you had to get it through Amazon or Walmart. Okay. And it'd be sent there, right? And someone was just hating on me, you know. I was I was the king at yeah, Lazar, yeah. not to brag, but I literally was. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. you know, I had to pay people to do stuff for me, pay people I would bid off and all that <laughs> shit. But <laughs> so it got to the point they took away all it took away especially all my privileges. I couldn't get visits no more. Because they thought you were smuggling drugs. You were a fucking Lannister. Yeah, you were Cause, yeah, fucking you Game was. of Thrones. Since they thought it's I was a really good show. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lying. Now they took away everyone's privileges at first when they thought I was smuggling drugs and they thought I was gonna like, like oh it's all on me, I'm doing I'm really doing it. Yeah. Give everyone back. Fuck no. So <laughs> everyone got their shit taken away. And we're we're we had nothing. Like we're starving. The food yeah. sucks. Sometimes the food, we tried doing a hunger strike because they wouldn't give us enough food. To do the we did a hunger strike. strike. We lasted last? like ten of us last three fucking days. <laughs> Fuck. Like, yeah, it wasn't that long. Because uh, no one, you had to be unity. Everyone yeah. had to stick together. Now our next big idea was so the hunger strike didn't work. <laughs> What worked next? Hunger Strike. Who uh, broke it? Who was the first guy to be like, you caught somebody? It was, it was a group of people. It was a lot of people. Okay, that you you're know? all like, well, fuck Well, 10 of us stayed three days. 10 of us stayed doing it for Jesus three days. Christ. And then, like, pretty much, was we were the only 10 that did it. not eating at all? It's not eating. Like, we eat nothing at all. Jesus we went Christ. We went to the vending machines. Yeah. But that said, we, we would eat their meals. I got you. Okay. We got three meals a day to serve us. We would eat their meals. And there was, like I said, that food was horrible. Counted yeah. food. So, so what was the, the hunger strike didn't work. Same thing was to, uh, what was that? Oh, now, people would run from there all the time, and you would have to hit the fire alarm to run. Now, you're on parole, you run from this place, you get up Scott in charge. But the fucked up thing is, when you get caught, depending, if you've been running more than six months, then you're going to go to grade for an, and get a three to six months. You mean run from this day. place, like run, literally? You can just walk run, out the door. Walk out. You walk can't just out walk out the door, you have to hit the fire alarm or go, go during yard time. And just fucking leave. You can leave. But uh, but you have to run from it, you know, because if they catch you, <laughs> you're in trouble. But like I said, it's called up Scotting. But if you're on the run for more than six months on parole, you're going to get three to six-month hit, maybe nine in grade for Yeah. But if you're under six months, 
I know guys that just ran from this place and turned himself in. You go to a PV center. Now, this wasn't really considered PV yet. Yeah. I think nowadays it was called treatment, but it was no, like, we went to like three yeah. groups a day. So, it's called treatment, but there's white supremacists. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you're selling cigarettes. So, you run yeah. from this, there's guys that were run from this place, turn in pro right away. Now, this was, you're doing Why? minimum 60 days. Else? They would go to either Kentuck or Comer Hall and do 30 days because that's the new rule that just changed. Uh, when, I went, when I did Kentuck, it was 60 plus days. <laughs> I went to Coleman Hall. I did 34 days. So they'd run to a place and do a less time. They'd do less time. That's so funny. Now, <laughs> I had such a bad parole record. It all You don't know what's going to happen to you low. Yeah. Like, I had a bad parole. If I took that chance, I might have been, they told me to max out grade for it. Yeah, I wasn't taking that. For so we're doing 60 plus days in this place and it's hell and it's so bad. So they, they stopped. They t- what they did was they turned off the fire alarms so no- nobody could run no more. <laughs> That's, that can't be legal. A guard, exactly. It's not illegal. And a guard told us about that. So what we did was somebody go on the pay phone and we called the fire department. Yeah. Now, when the guy's on the phone calling the fire department, he goes, listen, I need to talk to a staff member. I get on the phone and pretend I'm a staff member. <laughs> I tell him what's going on. They sent in. What did you f- actually say to the fire department? I said, listen, my, my uh, supervisor, uh, some reason he's being bald-headed and he won't let us turn on the fire alarms. <laughs> But I think there's a real risk for these kids, for these sorry, for these inmates in here. Uh, if something were to go off, you We're know like, they're in a also small, bring some isolated Newports. place. Bring <laughs> some Cadillacs, would you? Bring a, Yo, bring a, if I can come down here, bring a pack of Cadillacs. That's what we needed too. We try to get when we got pizza delivered to us. We're trying to find somebody because the Kentucky had happened. Uh, pizza People delivery would, would smuggle stuff oh, into yeah, pieces of I cell would, phones and it. stuff. Cell phones and you in know, with the pie in the pie, you nice. know, because you weren't allowed cell phones in there. But Wait, so what t- happened now with this guy? All right, so I, I told him all the stuff on the thing. You know, they they actually come to the place now. Like I said, it is like a jail. There's the front, and we never can see the front unless we get caught up for urine uh-huh. or caught up to get mail. So, but someone went up there and saw there was the Philadelphia Fire. I feel what region it was, or whatever district they were there. Yeah, yeah. and then what they did was supposed that they just turn on the switch real quick. To make sure the fire alarms uh, work back, yeah, so that's yeah. what they did. So, so they do that. So second, attempt. second attempt, your second cue, third attempt. This is <laughs> this is, this, cue, this, were, you, were you excited when they got there? Were oh, you like so excited! Happy? Were you laughing? We wanted the place to shut down so bad. Oh, it, was, okay. it was so bad. So it wasn't man. like a prank. It was like a pretty serious we wanted, situation. We wanted, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, now right before this next one, what we were trying to do, we were, there was a mouse running around down. We we're trying to kill the mouse, and what we we're going to do on food, we we're going to have somebody call KYW or Fox News. And we're going to put the mouse put in the, the food yeah. while Fox News was on their way. Because supposedly idea. someone said they did this before at either Coleman Hall. And the place got in a lot of trouble. There's all this yeah. media attention and shit. <laughs> we tried getting that shit, but we could have killed you that fucking mouse. That mouse. Pain in the ass, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and listen, circus uh, tricks in someone else's room. I'm like one of the leaders in this big group. You know, me yeah. and a couple guys getting to try and well, get this, this place this shut like the fuck down. Problem. It was it leadership problem. Like yeah, I know. Well, I'm, on this. It even gets worse, man. It gets a lot worse than this. So... Then we're just plotting on our next thing, dude. Our next thing is ready. <laughs> sounds we, fun. We decide, sounds like a fun time. We no. decide to sh- you know light the place on fire. All right, yeah, <laughs> maybe a little less fun than I now, was hoping. <laughs> now, I'll off- yeah, we're definitely going to do this. And the guy's like, "Well, if you kick the hole in the wall, I'll light the fire." I said, "Bet, yeah. <laughs> yeah. no problem. I'll kick any hole in the fucking wall as long as you light on fire." Now, I would have lit on fire if I had to because I was kind of you know I was really. Going for trying to get this place down. I was yeah. really dedicated to it. And I would have went beyond because I was maxing out in three months. What the fuck are they going to do to me? Yeah. So <laughs> when he said, listen, yeah, you're probably you, get a lot of trouble for burning it. And if you kick the place, if you kick the hole in it, I'll light it down. I said, absolutely. I'll kick as many holes as you want. I thought yeah. I had to be part the of hole? the job. Now, the only place you could light the fire was in the bathroom. And we're going to cut the hole. We're trying to light the insulation on fire. Uh, no, we could have like we could have done it in the room because there's cameras and yeah, we would yeah. see what room it is, who it is, and yeah. it could have happened. We're getting in trouble. Yeah. So in the bathroom, you're gonna get away with it. But there was tile around the whole bathroom tile. Oh, also went up about five, six feet, whatever. So I had to kick up high. So I went into the first <laughs> stall in the middle bathroom, and we used the middle bathroom because that's the only bathroom that had a front and back uh-huh. exit. It's in the middle of the building. You know, so I went into the first stall. So you couldn't tell who was coming in and they out. You couldn't tell who was coming in. You know, we had, we had a, we playing out. We had three guys go in. Me and three other guys went in, and then two went out that way. One went in that yeah. way. I stayed a little oh. bit. I lift myself up off the. I went in the first stall. Lift my hands on the side. Pull myself up and did a jump. To Jackie Jane jump kick, dude, and boot the <laughs> fucking hell out of the wall, dude. Yeah. Now listen. It was a perfect kick that, like, I was telling Matt, the FBI really want to investigate it. They would have saw my shoe, my size, and yeah, what was yeah, said yeah. on my shoe. It was so obvious that I kicked the hole <laughs> yeah, in that fucking yeah, wall. Yeah. 
you know? <laughs> so I kick the hole in the wall, and uh, and then the, I come back to the room. So the hole's kicked, and he's he's clowning. He's not – he's, like, trying – didn't think I was going to kick a hole in the wall. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the shit we've done here, you don't think I want to kick a hole in the wall? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we don't know. It was a good idea. And it just took him a while. And finally got him to do it. And uh, it just wouldn't catch on fire. Well, he was and trying it, to light the sheetrock on fire. Sheet, they were trying to light the insulation, <laughs> the insulation on fire. Yeah. So I went with him to prove it to him. And I see he had the, he had the, the flame right to it. Because we weren't allowed to have lighters <laughs> anyway in this place. I would imagine. So he was trying to light it on, on fire. And it just wouldn't light on fire. So f- the fourth intent failed. Fifth attempt was. At any point during the burn the entire building down, were you, like during that plot, were you guys ever just like, maybe we should try to find that mouse again? <laughs> seems Dude, a little risky. We, we made a, a trap to try to catch him. We uh, put food and uh, I forget the trap, but it was a weird trap, man. The old shoebox with a stick? No, it was something like that. I, I can't think of it, man, but it was so something what, like that. What was your final attempt? My final attempt. It was, uh, oh, we wanted to flood the bathrooms. We wanted to flood the place, put it on the water. <laughs> it's like biblical yeah. fucking, yeah, uh, dude. it's like Moses. Like, yeah, you're the <laughs> Moses of a PV center. <laughs> <laughs> so the one bathroom where I kicked the hole, we, um, you know, the sink and all the pipes were exposed. <laughs> McCluskey, the kid, you know, it was pretty much my right hand man and doing all this time. He down. He he does it first. He donkey kicks, donkey kicks the first pipes. And just they just come off perfect. Yeah, <laughs> so we there was about five sinks there. So we knock out all the pipes in the sink and we start rolling the water yeah. and get out. This is at like eleven. This is after the last count before morning. Uh-huh. I think they do one more count before that. And uh, the place got a lot of water. But all it did was get more fucked up for us because we did not flood it. The, it just made everything wet. Made everything wet. Was, and also bathroom. We had to use it to take shits in. And it was so bad because it was urinals. The guys were putting tour paper in the ur- uh, clogging the urinals. They just like they made it, they made the bathroom so much nastier for us. And we just helped them even make it nastier. Like, that's why I take shits at in the middle of the night. Now, uh. now I, the bathroom was right across my hall. I mean, sorry, right across from my room. Now I had to walk around. All around the corner, all the way down the hallway, to use the bathroom at nighttime and I take a Cause piss. Because the bathroom was shut down for like a week and a half, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's crazy, man. Then the fucking maintenance guy comes in. This is when we kind of felt bad, and because he's the one that patched my hole. He, he had put <laughs> worse was seeing him underneath the sink putting the you know the the elbows back in the pipes and fixing them. And he's like, his big man after like, that harsh donkey kick. Yeah, after, yeah <laughs> five donkey kicks. But uh, <laughs> but like it was like that stuff along with like you know people you know putting tore paper in the urinals and stuff. He had this big speech with us. And listen, guys, I have kids. Yeah. Um, you know, because you guys had to stay here a couple of hours later. You know, and spend time with the kids. We're like, yeah. oh, shit, man. It kind of yeah. sucked. None of these attempts were working. So, so you just well. got out. Yeah, I got out, yeah. That was it. That was it, man. Have you That's written a, a strongly I wanted worded to letter shut... to that place to help the guys still in there? Dude, I said Dude. that every time. I was, The first time I was in there, and everyone says it, but once you get out, yeah, you're it's like, just like, fuck but that. I, I kind of want to, though. Nah, it's, fuck it, you're out. They're... How we're treated in there is so unfair because it's privately owned. Like I said, you know, and it's just privately owned shit. What they do is is really not. They're not. It's it's unhumane. Some of the stuff they do to us. You know how they feed us. It's just it's horrible, man. Dude. the reviews, Someone needs to step up. The reviews when you go to the one Ken Talk place, people Google review it. I guess to kind of get like the grievances out. So fucking funny. The one lady's like a. It's like uh, where the fuck is it? The one was like a bunch of Muslim bitches. <laughs> it's so fun. Very lazy staff. This place is a joke. The guards are... It's one star review. The one was a three star. Very lazy staff. The other one's one star. This place is a joke. The guards are wastes of space. They're too busy hanging out talking with each other to make matters worse. Most of them are Muslim that work there. The blacks get to cut like, the line. Uh, sounds like the white supremacists got a hold of Google. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds like they got the a hold black, of yeah, this, is the, this is a Google review. The blacks get to cut the line during visiting hours. The workers watch them do it and just laugh like they're old friends. They get special privileges. They're just saying basically like it's better for blacks. Such <laughs> a fucking funny <laughs> white response. That's too, man. It was, we're in Kensington and a lot of white guys try pulling, oh, this is racist. But like we're in their neighborhood, you know. Definitely blacks have dealt with way worse shit racism growing up, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And like, I just was whatever, like, you know, we're in their neighborhood, this is how we're getting treated. Jail? You know, no, like, in Kent, like, oh, yeah, kid, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, it was a lot of racism going oh, on because yeah, it was all black the run. Who worked there. They worked there and they, they got favored, and they did. You know, the guy was assaulting kids and he got uh, promoted to the head of the house in Luzerne. 
And yeah. I'm I'm hearsay of smuggling stuff, which you have no evidence. And I'm well, giving you, you clean urine. Kicking holes in the fucking pipes. And shit. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm doing that, but they don't know about that. But I'm, you're giving me urines. I'm passing all my urines and stuff, and you're not gonna let me have my privileges. Well, you're a victim, dude. But sad. But like saying, like this black dude was assaulting people, and yeah. he got never got in trouble and got rewarded for his stuff he was doing. Yeah. Now a guy went in there and went ham on a lady for what she was letting this dude get away with it. And he just got even more trouble. He got more. <laughs> of course he did. Something. You know, so I was like, dude, just, just, you're not going to win this fight. All right. You know? Well, dude, that's the tale, dude. We're at two yeah. hours. That's the, that's two hours. Thank you, that's dude. That's the tale oh, of the Phenomenal. It was, man. It was good. Thanks for coming in, oh, dude. Really really sick. I really appreciate it. Awesome, it. Thank man. you very much, dude. Thanks, man. Hope and, I got uh, your questions answered. No, that was the fucking, that was crazy, man. Yeah, it was exactly yeah, so, two hours. Yeah, it's just, you guys just keep your head down and just, you know, just... Kick the pipes. Be cool, but kick the pipes. Light shit on fire. <laughs> you, I, saw, I was telling you, you could have got a pa- uh, taper or paper towels. Or you could have got toilet yeah, paper and lit that on fire. We have so much I stuff wonder, going on. It's yeah, just like, a lot of guys don't want to do a, it. That's a charge. That's a nervous situation, oh, yes, dude. Awesome. Yeah. Lighting a prison that's on awesome. fire, dude. But you being, yeah. the, being the one well, that helped shut do down that place down, I was I'm been a legend. That's sick. That would have been sick. All right, hey, thanks again. Thank you very much. It was awesome. Enjoying it. November are we doing fucking digital graffiti? I guess. Alright, November eighth, come to Helium for digital graffiti. Yeah. November twenty second, live taping of the podcast. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Thanks a lot for coming. Thanks, I man. appreciate it. Oh, man. Thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. And I turned twenty one in prison, doing life without the rope. No one would steer me right, but mama tried, mama tried, mama tried to raise me better, but her bleeding hide at night. That leaves only me to blame, cause mama tried That leaves only me to blame, cause mama tried